Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! Uh, before we jump into tonight's session, we do have some announcements to get through, beginning with the first of our sponsors, Quip, apparently. Sam! Uh, uh, the yeah, go ahead. Tonight's episode has a brand new sponsor, Quip, the Good Habits Company, and their smart electric toothbrushes. <laughs> These awesome brushes have all the guiding features of their original brush, guiding, with a new Bluetooth <laughs> smart motor that connects to the free Quip app so you can track your brushing, get tips, I don't know what I'm holding up, and, <laughs> and daily coaching, and earn rewards for good habits like brushing two minutes twice a day. Quip has a lot going on, guys, but the one thing they don't have is a jingle. Oh, no. So I came up with some ideas, and before I pitch them to Quip, I thought I'd focus test them on you first. So That's a good idea. be honest with your feedback, okay? The first one, first one has like a little modern disco beat, so okay. uh, hit it. Feeling the beat between my teeth. Smart electric toothbrush, beep, beep, beep. Oh, shake that booty, take a chance. Open oh, Thanks, Travis. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> it's no big. I've got some more ideas. This next one no. is a fresh country jam to appeal oh, no. to a southern demographic. Ooh, let's hear oh. it. Okay. <clears throat> Hit it. Well, I got a big old truck with a four wheel drive V8 engine on the stack. Uh, grabbing our fishing gear off the extra heavy duty roof rack. Oh. Pull the flatbed down, put the mud tires on, this truck can really cook. And with 1% APR financing, <laughs> it ain't gonna break my checkbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive a Quip toothbrush today. Thanks, Travis. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was getting late last night, so I might have recycled some older material for that one. But okay. but it's fine, it's fine. I, I got one more for you. Um, this one is, it's dark and beat heavy, okay. like Billie Eilish or Lord. All right. Oh, <clears throat> oh okay. okay. Quip, you vibrate me all night long. Four time vibrations for each quadrant of your mouth. The first thirty seconds and the thirty thirty seconds and the third thirty seconds and the fourth thirty sex. I'm done. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Maybe I'll try again oh. next time. Anyway, start getting rewards oh, for no. brushing your teeth today. Go to getquip.com. Oh Where did the other thing go? Oh, I'm you have it. it. <laughs> to, yeah. save, oh, to save $10 on a Quip Smart Electric Toothbrush or the Smart Bundle. Maybe this is that? And as a special bonus for every smart brush purchased with code Critical Role, Quip will make a $10 donation to our own 501c nonprofit organization, the Critical Role Foundation. Yay! Check it all out and make the most of this special offer at getquip.com slash critical role. Terms and conditions apply. Full terms at getquip.com slash CRF. Matt! I didn't know I was going to do that. Brush, brush to you. No. It's vibrating! <laughs> 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 I've lost control. <laughs> well, thank you, Sam. Thank you, Matt. Th thank you, Quip, uh, for unleashing him oh even god. further <laughs> into madness. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my god. Oh. Oh. Don't encourage him! The flag to you? Oh. Yeah. Oh. This episode is also sponsored by our amazing partner, The Op, makers of amazing games, puzzles, and accessories for critters around the world. So far, we have released some great puzzles of iconic characters and moments from Campaign 1 and Campaign 2, which include a collectible oversized 20 sided die featuring the Mighty Nine emblem on the 20 spot. Big boy. Uh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Our very own critical role Munchkin card game, which is yeah. a person who played Munchkin for a long time, I love. Uh, uh, based on the adventure of the Mighty Nine, where players relive iconic moments, encounter monsters and allies, and the very fun critical role Rubik's Cube, which is also uh, features the Mighty Nine campaign. Uh, you can find it all now at bit.ly.theop. 
underscore CR. And as a special offer to the end of the year, you can receive 10% off your purchase when you use the code CRITICALROLL21 and free shipping for orders $39.99 or more. Thank you so much for supporting us and supporting the show, guys. <laughs> Lauren Liam, you got stuff to talk about. Go for it. We've had so many cool facts and facts items that have come out in the last few weeks with our partners uh, and stuff. <laughs> You might have heard us talk about Kith and Kin, our first novel, with Penguin Random House. It is written by the fantastic Marika Nykamp, and you can get your copy right now wherever books are sold or via criticalrollbooks.com. The audiobook version is also available now with narration by the one and only blue boy, Robbie Damon. You guys too, you That will be a lot of reprising our roles of, what are they called again? Vax and Vax. Vax and Vax! I said your name first. Vax. Vax. Because, because. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said his name first. From our friends at Sideshow! <laughs> first of all! Oh gosh. Hold get, it up, because it's amazing. Get ready for this. Whoa! Let's go! Whoa. So gorgeous! This is going in my house, yeah. not the nerd office. Sorry. My house. Yeah, this yeah. was the one for the office, but we're stealing it. Um, so you can pre-order. Oh, this is beautiful, and it's by Ian McDonald. He's amazing. And you can pre-order the print, or either framed or unframed, um, and the art measures 24 by 18, just so you know. And of course, we have the Vex and Vex. I, I put some of the Quip gum in my mouth. And you're loving it. No, I'm don't not, spit out well, the I just, sponsor I feel stuff. bad chewing gum while I'm talking about things. It's very disrespectful. <laughs> Which one's more disrespectful? We also have the Vex and Vex statues from Sideshow. There's so many details on them. Be sure to check them out. I wish I had it in front of me to show you, because they're beautiful. You can learn more about all of those items at sideshow <laughs> at side dot show this. slash critical role. We also have three new shirts available at oh, Hot yes, Topic, yes. Oh. two of which feature art from our Vox Machina Origins comic book series created with our friends at Dark Horse. This is by the wonderful Olivia Sampson, who so love good. her designs. You might have noticed we're wearing them tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. That's awesome. This is actually not uh, planned. We just both wanted to wear them tonight. That right? yeah, that's right. For real. You nerds. That's right. I know. That happens, happens about once a month. In addition to that, we also have a shirt featuring Trinket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. so you might recognize a design by Jenny Park from our Trinket Chibi Pin. Yeah. Ow! You can find these shirts. <laughs> this is also a deadly weapon. You can find these shirts in other Critical Merch and oh. Critical Role Merch and select, I'm so bad at scripts, <laughs> and select Hot Topic stores or at hottopic.com. Oh, welcome to Twin Sember. Yay, mm. Twin Sember. Already. Uh, well, before we jump in, also, Sam and Marisha. You've got extra medium. Got something to talk about, too. It. You guys. Guess what is about to happen? What's happening? Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Our new opening title sequence oh, oh, is coming. Huge shout out to our crew who totally busted their fucking ass to get this thing going. Uh, it's epic, love them. And Sam, tell them about that the sweet music, theme. The music, there's a brand new uh, mm -hmm. opening theme song yes. uh, written by myself and Peter Habib, music by Habib, lyrics by me, uh, and, and sung by the amazing cast of Critical Role. Yeah, They're all right, sitting right. here at this table. What? And so, I mean, I feel like we should just show it. I yeah? think so. I think we should. I can't wait to see it. Well. Me too. Then let's do that <laughs> as we go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. Ah! Critical Role. Critical Role. It's Thursday night. One by one we climb until we reach the top. Two by two we fall. Will we meet our friend or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our flight. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. But one thing's for sure. We never give up on the Healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. It's Thursday night. All 
And welcome back. So last we left off, this, this troop of adventurers having lost a friend, avenged a friend, and really setting off to discover what the next wave of mysteries before them were worth pursuing, uh, decided to follow one thread that was mentioned by Lord Eric's Astaroth uh, to the Dreamscape Theater, where apparently a series of disappearances he had heard rumored were occurring or had occurred in recent weeks around the establishment. Gathering your things, you headed further into the core spire of Drusar to the Dreamscape Theater proper. You acquired tickets, you found yourself a nice box seat on the left hand upper side of the theater, preparing for a performance of a troupe referred to as Kendra's Flying Lauders. Um, <laughs> Which it's great when you make up stuff, and afterward go like, oh, "I don't know, them figure that out." Um, <laughs> Bring in the otters. <laughs> but as you all have your seats, uh, it seemed that Dorian was pulled aside. Somebody requested a conversation, in which an individual named Cyrus made themselves uh, seen, and a brief, intense conversation ensued in the stairwell beneath before you returned to the box seat, as the show was about to begin. And so here, within the steadily darkening interior of the Dreamscape Theater, you have a few moments to prepare before the performance of the afternoon. What would you like to do? And Dorian's rejoined, right? I think right now Dorian is returning. Everything okay? Did you go get refreshments? Popcorn. Uh, no, I, I, I forgot, sorry, just to. <clears throat> Who was it? Hmm? Who, who wanted you to come down there? Oh, I, I, um, oh, that's right, it was a patron. Yeah, yeah it was just um, someone who recognized me from a show and we just chit-chatted for a little bit. I used the restroom and I'm excited to see uh, the, the Flying Lauders, was it? I mm. think it's Otters. Uh, like the... <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I heard. They, they just throw them around the stage. Let's <laughs> <Right. laughs> <That's> hope. <laughs> a quick insight check on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Otters, the French, you just say Lauders. Oh, mm. Make a deception check otters. if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Uh, nine. Oh, cock. Kiak? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, eight. Oh! All right. Okay. <clears throat> At this point, the last bit of lights begin to vanish, and you can see the small uh, cylindrical devices that are affixed to the far upper right and left of the interior walls of the chamber begin to alight brighter as you see the stage, the curtains begin to steadily open as the music from the pit below begins to pick up a bit. And with that, you can see the uh, the audience begins to hush as performers begin to come to the stage. You can see what looks to be a troop of about six acrobats begin to emerge and bow as the music begins to swell a bit. As a few people with eyes like, I thought it was going to be otters! <laughs> <laughs> but everyone prepares as they begin to release themselves into a flurry of flips and backhand springs and tosses into the air, a brilliant display of physical prowess. Back and forth across the stage, you're waiting for the moment where they collide, and they do not, it seems, they do not. <laughs> it, goes, it goes pretty damn well. There's a few moments where you find yourself clutching the wood on the edge of your chairs, uncertain if this is safe or going to end poorly, but with extreme speed and a practiced capability, you watch as they finish their first flurry of their gymnastics routine. And what you thought was a resonant kind of chant that was rhythmic from an unseen chorus you notice at this point is coming from the performers as they undergo their display. As they finish for their bow, you can see their mouths moving in unison as this low chant 
that's being spoken and sung amongst them is the other half of their performance. Oh, this is it's weird. Now, now this is, feels like they're summoning something. I'm watching uh, the audience if I can. Make a perception check. <clears throat> Nine. What is it? Nine. 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 It's hard to see. Really low lights now at this point. Attention's kind of at the stage. Then you hear the pushing of wheels as a large seesaw like device is brought to the center stage. And there you watch as they begin to gather from side to side, where there are now ladders being placed on the sides. The curtains pull back further, the lights and colors change and shift. And as they all begin to take their places at the side, one by one, they begin to leap from the sides onto one side of the saw and catch the other and flip and rotate and catch off of bars that you didn't even notice were fixed higher onto the stage. With that, you watch as the, the energy begins to rise, and as they're doing this, the song changes. Now they're vocalizing a harmony, and as it progresses, it's you can't help but feel enraptured by this combination of physical capability and musical prowess. And nothing bad happens. It's going great with that <laughs> The audience is in hushed gasps and whispers and cheering and shh, and just this constant uh, cycling of, of reactionary sounds and exclamations from the people in the dark, shaded space before you. You can see, as at one point, they seem to have stopped on the seesaw. And then three individuals climb up and at once leap off in unison and slam onto one side. The impact of the wood under the stage is so loud that you see people in the front row kind of cover their ears and you sure some of the wood may have cracked. As on the opposite side, one individual is thrown out of sight, up and beyond the curtains. <gasps> He's dead. Where'd he go? He died. Oh my gosh. Off the oh, other side man. and caught Whoa. by their friends and placed under the stage, all their voices begin to come to a close as the one that was caught and landed comes out with this beautiful falsetto. And everyone kind of goes, I, okay, that was weird, but good, good on you. And they cheer. And when their third act, they pull away this odd seesaw and you watch as swings descend from above the stage, what looks to be a set of three trapeze. And utilizing these same ladders, you can hear that falsetto voice that ended the last act is now brought up by the other performers into an angelic chorus. It almost feels like some sort of odd worship-adjacent like musicality that fills the chamber, echoing and swelling in this, this beautiful sound that feels almost like it requires reverie, but the energy of them climbing is palpable as they leap and swing and grasp and spin. Not so great. <laughs> One of them misses the swing. <laughs> Under the wood. <gasps> There's a pause. The other performers turn and look. They get up. Oh, into a display, oh, arms out. Oh, big cheers, big cheers. And as they're cheering, they bow and bow and quietly exit the stage, <laughs> holding their back. <laughs> it, it, it is. Whenever it's quiet, I'm just wrestling with a paper bag of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> that person in the audience. Hard candies? Mm. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes. Lots of Werther's. Werther's. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Werther's. <laughs> the performance picks up into this final act for a moment, but you can see there's like a, a general nervousness amongst them. Uh, they seem to almost come to a close of the performance. The musicality of their voices now introducing an element of uh, discomfort and curiosity amongst them. They end it rather abruptly and then leave the stage. There's some clapping. Bravo! <clears throat> Is that the end? That could have been the end. <laughs> That's what my hands sound like. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. A few moments pass beyond what would have been roughly a 25 to 30 minute performance. Uh, you watch as a half elf man comes out onto the stage dressed in impeccable tails with broad shoulders that come to an extravagant point that curve ever so slightly at the edges. This kind of deep blue velvet with what looks to be almost like a, a leopard pattern interior that just drifts past the back of his outfit. He has these, these uh, tight, faintly striped like green and brown uh, 
pants that go down to these immaculate boots. Describe and you s- horizontally or vertically, just for reference. Horizontally. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. A large smile, and this, this toothy grin that he wears. He is uh, have long and chiseled of complexion that looks to be maybe in his early 50s or so, but handsome and holds on to it well. Uh, you see his dark complexion and amber hair that is slicked back slightly to one side, and this pencil mustache that glides just over the upper lip. Um, he steps out. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. For the Hello. Matinee. I don't think you're supposed to. Talk. Hello. We hope you enjoyed this performance of Kendra's Flying Larders. Um, there are no refunds, but have a wonderful night and uh, hope to see you again. A good night. And he exits the stage. There's a few claps and <coughs> some <coughs> Something happened. Why did he specify no refunds? Feels like that's very specific. I think the show ended rather early. <clears throat> that's a weird way to close a show. It's like maybe one weird weird Maybe that one. Performer was hurt. There he goes. Can we look down in the audience? Are the lights coming up at all? The lights are beginning to come up. You can see the the oil lanterns are now being turned up by the ushers mm-hmm. as they move through the audience, and you can make out the details of people now beginning to shift from their seats, talking. They look a bit confused. Some folks are leaving. Some folks are excitedly talking about what they had just seen. You can gauge their experience. Does anyone look especially distressed in the audience? Uh, not in particular. Okay. Not not running off of your. Uh, the lights, light, the lights are up now. I'd say roll another perception check. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, oh, 20. Oh. Mm. You don't see anyone specifically distressed by any means, just a lot of confusion. Okay. Uh, these are all, you know, paying patrons of the arts, and there, there just seems to be, a, not unlike some of you up there in the box that you paid quite a decent amount for, um, a bit of frustration at the brevity of the performance for the night. But people are beginning to exit and make their way beyond and out of the theater. What would you like to do? Is, sure. this, is this standard fare for the theater? Um, I think you said it, it did feel a little short. Yeah. Do you think, think it would have been better with otters, honestly? <laughs> yes, I do too. Oh, yes. Can you imagine them doing that? Flippy thing, it's so mm. cute. I mean, they really, did. you ever see one of them, they take the, they smash open the clamshell. They can do open. like yeah. juggling. Yeah. They I did hands. like when the person what fell, if, though. Oh, oh. It <laughs> it specifically, and was caught or fell and was not caught? Just f- fell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say? Um, what if we could say, you know, having spent so much money on, on these particular seats, mm-hmm. we could say that, you know, we were enamored with the performance and wanted to congratulate the performers in person. A lot of times when when people, you know, spend a lot of money on something, they, they're granted extra mm-hmm. perks, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, backstage pass or something like that. Something yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. I'm sure we could ask. We need to go backstage, I smell money. Mm-hmm. Worst that could happen is they say no, right? Let's give it a shot. Yeah. And then we just Let's do it do. without permission. How do we do it? Do we just do we go up and we're like, ooh, we paid money. I feel like Dorian should probably ooh. say something just yeah. because oh. he's the one that asked for the <clears throat> seats after all. I, I suppose we try to uh, flag down the attendant. All right. I, I'm gonna peek my head out the curtain and the, look down the hallway. Do we see anybody around or? Uh, it's it's a it's a little staircase that leads down beyond just beyond the box where you are because you guys are elevated. Um, but even looking over the side, you can see there are you know three ushers that are kind of working their way through. One of which is uh, Siren, the Dragonborn that had previously uh, both brought you to your seats and retrieved you for your encounter before the performance. We could just say we were offered a backstage tour with the box seats. Oh, a little fib. You're gonna lead with a lie. Yeah. Okay. Pretty uh, harmless. Why don't we all go at once, like? So yeah, gonna yeah, lie, yeah, like a little, little bit of a little pressure. A pressure. That's it. Oh, yeah. I like Man. that. Who's the most convincing liar? I could, I could try. Yeah. I look respectable. Yeah. I think you do. You look respectable. Yeah. I take a quick peek over the balcony's edge. Um, is it cleared out some, is it? It's cleared out some, but okay. people are taking their time. Some individuals are almost 
hoping that there's going to be an encore performance. Others probably just have back issues and are taking their, <laughs> I speak from experience, taking their time, yeah, mm-hmm. to uh, to exit and then uh, exactly. Um, sure. Uh, we head down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Walk up to that usher. Okay. You see, oh, see her in the process of like picking up elements of. Uh, ticket scraps and other bits of, of looks to be almost like mm-hmm. now empty uh, discardable bottles, people that had snuck in. And he just kind of shakes his head for a minute before looking up. Hi. Hello. Um, we were just wondering what entrance it is we were supposed to use. Oh, the exit is. Oh, not, not the exit, no, the, the entrance to the backstage. Oh, uh, you're, there isn't. There, you, you're not. A, Allowed to go. Oh, we got special permission on yeah, account of uh, being just, such esteemed patrons. He said, uh, go to the proscenium, walk down the VOM, and you'll be right there, something like that. Yeah. Who's, who said this? Uh, what was that? The, the, the littler <laughs> one? We first um, met. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name. Yeah, me either. Describe them, maybe I know. Smallish. Oh, ha- a halfling. Yvonne? Yep. Stuvon. That's the one. Mm-hmm. Stuvon. Oh, no, Stuvon's the. Oh. No. Oh, you no. know what? It might have been him after all. Oh. That, that, yeah. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I would have given you advantage. No, uh, <laughs> but a few people chimed in there as opposed to just the two of you. Yeah. So. It was the two face, faces of the group. Well. And suddenly it was the group. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Well, that's not. 13. 13. 13. Uh, I, I apologize, but I do you need should. Need to check with someone. I I think I do. All Just right. Wait, wait here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure. Uh, was it Stuvon? You said. Uh, you no, know, I, I can't be sure that's, that's his actual name. Actually. No, he was. He was smaller, you know. She has a, a bad memory. I just, I forget. I I jumble letters together and it, it, it would have been like, like a halfling you know. ticket taker. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and check. He kind of exits past you and begins shuffling off to if the If you could front. hurry, because we're on a tight schedule. And he exits through the exit into the main area there. Well, that, that could have gone Should better. Just sneak in? Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Yeah, let's yeah, just, let's just sneak way. in. I'm very sorry. Just, I thought that the name popped in my head and then I realized it wasn't it. You did great. Who is Stevon? I don't remember. Stevon's the, <laughs> the, the, the fellow who just made the speech at the end of the show. Oh, okay, well, that could have worked. That could have worked. Yeah. So what are you doing? Is there an entrance yeah, stage? Yeah, stage entrance, is there a stage door? Uh, from this point, you don't see an immediate like entrance to the stage. Just go on the stage and go yeah, you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know how it works. Is there anybody in the room? Yes, there's probably about 40 other patrons that haven't exited yet. <laughs> no, should we make We can create a distraction. Oh. I'm sure we can come up with something. Where I got it. Oh. And I cast Thaumaturgy, sure. and then from a, a backstage, you hear, fire! Fire, everybody leave, fire! Oh, God. <laughs> In a literal open theater. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. And then uh, I Thaumaturgy again, you start to smell smoke. <laughs> you start to smell smoke. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thaumaturgy one more time. Looks like smoke. <laughs> Jesus, thaumaturgy is the greatest spell ever. It trips in the limits a little bit of thaumaturgy here with this. <laughs> it's a cantrip, but it's enough to get a few people's attention. Uh, the the I take it this is the instantaneous sound. Yeah. Okay. It's not a phrase in this day, so fire is about as much as fire. you can get out with it. So fire, fire. <laughs> from backstage. Fire. From backstage. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. People immediately begin to get up and uh, grab their things and ush up. Fire! Did you hear fire? It was a fire. Ah! They, <laughs> they begin to exit with haste. We should. We should. We should move. We should move. There, we should, let's. Let's. Okay. Let's move. On, mm. Onto the stage and backstage. Yeah. Okay. I would like you all to make a stealth check if you're doing this quietly. Oh sure. God, what are we doing? Oh boy. This is Try help with no this. Way. Is it? Nah. <clears throat> 20. Okay. 18. 18. 21. Okay. Seven. Okay. 
use that squeaky wheel. Yes. Yes. Uh, we need to lift him. <laughs> yeah, yes. This is a don't use that dice again because I can't tell it's what a three. Is it a no, two? it's not a. No. It can't be a three. It's backwards. Three. Three goes this Why oh, would you three. use this die ever? Oh, because sometimes difficult. it rolls amazing. <laughs> I and other that. times, there's you no in between with it. One out of numbers. I didn't do it well. It's a five. <laughs> okay. <Woo. laughs> Where'd, Where'd you get Imogen? 23. Uh, oh, I, I rolled a 20. A 20? 20. 23. 23? Seven. Okay. Thankfully, there was some distraction in there. Um, and overall, more for successes than failures. Even though a few people probably watched you go on stage, they don't necessarily give a shit. Because um, they're either worried about the fire or like how uncouth and just keep moving. Um, but you do scoot up into the wings of the stage, past the the curtains, and immediately back there you can see there is a stagehand there. It looks to be some of the performers are in the process of kneeling and helping uh, kind of get cushions under the one that fell during the performance. Who looks like they're injured, but it's not like grievous by any means. They're just like ah ah. Uh, they don't notice you. Do we have a healer? Except we... for the half elf man who finished the performance, who, as you come through the curtain, is literally standing right there in front of you as you push through. Uh, who would have been at the front of the pack leading the charge into the backstage? I'll go first. Maybe they lifted me on the stage first, let's say. Okay, so as you cruise by, <laughs> to the side, you almost run straight into the sternum of this, of this man. He stops, puts a hand on your shoulder. I'm sorry. What are you? Oh, I'm a... <clears throat> Hi, I'm Fresh Cut Grass. I, I You're not supposed to be here. Oh, I was very concerned about um, your performer who had an injury and wanted to come back and uh, offer my services. I'm a bit of a medicine uh, bot. A dress for a uh, medicinally trained individual. Um, costumes are always welcome, but uh, I believe me when I say that we have it under control. And you hear it. Ugh! And you see them like helping the the performer up and kind of like stretching a bit. You can see someone has uh, administered some kind of numbing agent to the space where they kind of impact it on their on their butt. Oh, uh, it, 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 I don't want to uh, disagree with you. It, it seems like you do have everything in hand, but um, I think I could help that that performer uh, feel better much quicker. He is quite a talented medical practitioner. Take a persuasion check. Sure. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. Thirteen. Uh, the person that you've sussed out at this point is uh, Stuvan. He gives you a look. Well, I'm certain it wouldn't hurt at the very least. Um, make way, we have a curious self-professed healer who's arrived and kind of like guides you past, has an, and then looks over you. I'm sorry, this this is not an exit. You have to go the other way. Oh, of course, we're just, with him, we just had to accompany our Real associate. Fit. Self-professed healer. We really you're, enjoyed the show, Yeah, too, you're lucky we had such esteemed boxes where we were seating that we, oh, we could oh, see the view. Oh, is that where you were seating? The view. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. so glad you enjoyed it. And you, like, has forgotten entirely about you and the harmed individual <laughs> and is now engaged in this, like, well, I, Really, any time. There is a membership that you could actually acquire <laughs> that will allow cheaper seats throughout the seasons. <laughs> what else do you have uh, airing of the rest of the season? Oh, uh, well, I have to go ahead and get my uh, repertoire out of my office here in a bit, but... Um, We'd love to accompany you. Make a prescription check. <laughs> come, come on, just get uh, one more. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, 22. Oh, oh. hey. And kind of looks at you, looks at Dorian in particular over the dress and goes, Certainly, that can be arranged. Uh, just a moment, please. In the meantime, I'm you. I'm rolling over and I'll, I'll just assess the situation. Is this performer hurt badly? Uh, make a medicine check. 15 plus 5, 20. Mm. Taking a glance at how they're holding themselves, the physicality of how they're adjusting their weight to compensate. You get the sense that probably this might be a, uh, a 
a fractured tailbone. Um, oh, wow. Oh, end the game. Not okay. Yeah, <laughs> the game. Uh, so not serious, but definitely oh, not but enjoyable yeah, yeah, by any means. Oh, I, I, I couldn't help but notice that you're uh, that you're injured. Um, do you mind if I um, if I if I touch you and 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 what are you? I I can only help you. I, I promise. I, I'm designed to help you. Kind of looks to the other members, and, and this up close, you get a glance. You can see that there is a, a familial thread between everybody here. There definitely is. This is like a, a family of performers. Um, Stuvan said that I uh, that I was welcome back here. All right, I guess if you can help. Uh, uh, this will only take a second, but I'll have to touch um, your your backside if that's all right with you. That is fine. Okay, just turn over a little bit. The nerves begin to definitely creep up into their expression. He'll be fine. <laughs> no. <Nah! laughs> I will gently lay my hand on uh, on their their back and mm -hmm. cast cure wounds. All righty, go ahead and roll. Um, let's see, D8, not great. <laughs> Five hit points. That's not bad. There is a sound. Uh, oh. And they go, ah! And, it, and you watch it, all, everyone else all of a sudden reach forward and grab for you, like, what the fuck are you doing? Before they go, huh, huh, huh. Oh my goodness. That, uh, that's amazing. Well, there was just a little alignment issue that we had. Apparently. To fix. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you, small metal thing. You have been very helpful. Oh, it, it was a fantastic show. I'm sorry you took a spill there, but before you were just incredible, flying through the air like that. Just oh. remarkable. Uh, well, it is. Um, it is a family affair here. I, we are only as good as we are as a whole. You're all, you're all related to each other. Uh, more or less. Wow. I take it there was more to the show? There was, uh, but you know, have to take care of ourselves first. <laughs> so great. How long have you been in, in the business? Uh, well, and looks over, and you can see there's the, uh, an older, the older woman of the, of the, of the troupe. Um, just kind of steps forward, you can see she's in her probably early 50s, but fitter than anyone you've seen in their 20s for the most part. Kind of comes forward with a discerning glance, and it's kind of at this point now you can see the protectiveness, kind of the, the matronly protectiveness kick in as they begin to look through you and take in both of you with as much of an instant read as they can. He goes, My name is Kendra, and this is my family. We have been doing this for about 15 years together, and we will continue to do it until I drop or the rest of us do. Wow, so you're you're the you're the the Head honcho. They all kind of like look at her, look back at you. Cool. <laughs> I thank you very much for helping my son. It's my absolute pleasure, um, and I can't wait to see your next show. And she looks over, and the, the younger performer that you helped us, and maybe sooner than uh, we were discussing. She goes, well, you need to rest regardless, just to make sure. Anyway. It is appreciated. We could actually um, maybe use your help for something, since we're back here. I'm not sure what we could be helpful for, but tell me. We do need a little information. Um, there have been some rumors flying around about people disappearing from the theater. We're, we're just kind of looking into that a little bit. They all kind of glance at each other, and Kendra goes, I cannot say I've heard of such rumors. We've only been in town for about a week. Oh, um, so you're, you're a traveling show? We are, yes. Oh, how, how long are you in residence at this theater? Uh, only for two more weeks. And you've only been here a week? Yes. Oh, okay. On that note, Orm is going to fade back while everyone's talking to them, and okay. just out of curiosity, check out the house again and see if anyone's lingering. You got it, the role perception. Can I also ask where Stuvan is in relation to all of us? Because I well, Stuvan, kind of lost track. Well, while this well, conversation and healing is happening, Stuvan was kind of talking with you guys okay. up until the point where you wanted to re-engage, in which case he would have followed. He wants to stay nearby. He definitely seems invested in these sudden arrivals that are going to possibly drop more money onto the performances. I'll kind of fade back with Orem and just be a second set of eyes with him as well. Okay, so perception check. 22. 22, okay. Well, Assistance. I was. I'm always at advantage. 
<laughs> That's a secret. Whoa, He's always an advantage. <laughs> no, yeah. Perception in the game <laughs> and life. <laughs> um, you see most patrons leave but one. Who in the far, far back, kind of to the side of the exit, you see one, uh, it's kind of hard to see this distance, but they're wearing a hood indoors, which is... Uh, Really cool. Remarkable. <laughs> it's super cool. It's, it's awesome. I wear my sunglasses at night. It's every every online role playing character from the late nineties. Um, look at the Lana. Look off in the corner there. Ooh, spooky creeper. It's right about then that they exit after the other patrons. What do you think? Probably nothing. Shall we follow? When well, you put it like that. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Kendra. Uh, I, as we leave, I just go send a message. Imogen, be right back. <laughs> and I'll send back, uh, starting a connection. All right. Let me know for four minutes what's going on. Just <laughs> 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 hamster Wait, dance plays in the background of her messages. <laughs> all, of, all of Imogen's messages are accompanied by banjo play. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to production, see if we can make it happen. Um, <laughs> No. <laughs> Apparently not even funny. Uh, while that's transpiring, and Stuvan is beginning to approach the group, uh, Kendra's kind of mm. talking to us. Uh, the, your best bets in asking about any sort of recent things would be uh, the owner, and points over to Stuvan, who steps. Goes, um, what about me? Ooh. Kendra um. goes. They they are asking about. Uh, there have been disappearances, oh. and Stuvan goes. That's preposterous. I mean, there are those people that leave the performances early because whether they are uh, unappreciative of the art we present or drunkards, um, there have been no disappearances. Is there a particular section where people often leave? Maybe that, that seat in the house doesn't get the best view or something. <laughs> Do I'm not gonna worry, cast detect Ken. thoughts as I ask that. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that is going to be a 16. What's your DC? Uh, fuck, 14. 14. Um, the, you still catch surface thoughts, right? Um, or is it only, is the yeah, deep Yeah, I think dive? you only have to roll Yeah, if you, you only deeper. roll if I'm prying, prying. Yeah, I, right. I'll catch surface thoughts, uh, yes, regardless. Surface thoughts you catch is a, an immediate beat of recognition to fear, to curiosity. Mm. And a thought of like, what? Huh. And it goes, Kendra, take your family to rest. You've had a, a very intense past hour. Uh, but well done, well done, everyone. Have a good night. Uh, we should talk. Oh, all right, we'll follow. In your offices? If you don't mind, oh. just follow me, please. Do you want me to? Take care of the other kids, or do you want do you want some muscle here? I don't think we'll need muscle, but it's up to you. We should all stick together. Well, are you having two not here. Or right. Laudna are, are off. Orm's pretty capable. All right. Laudna's Laudna's got things covered. O off to where? Where'd they go? Um, they followed. They followed someone. Anyway. And I'll just. Uh, Ask Laudna, where exactly were you going? I saw a creepy guy in the corner. They saw a creepy. They saw a creepy guy in the corner. Just giving him a look, see. Mm -hmm. What did he look like? Can you ask her what uh, What did he look like exactly, Laudna? What did he look like exactly? He <laughs> had a really. Cool cloak. cloak. What color was it? What color was it? Uh, it was hard to see in the kind of the, the low house lights that weren't super bright at this distance, but you did roll pretty high, mm -hmm. so you would know. Um, it would have been like a, like a dull gray. Yeah. In fact, now that the question comes up again and you think about it, it's not unlike an individual that you saw when you 
had a run-in with the Corsairs. Oh, interesting. So, oh, it was something that so, they saw at the Corsairs. So, I, well, I asked when, so uh, when I perceived in the wings the, the Corsair, am I, uh, was, he, was he cloaked? Did he have a hood? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pulled the hood back before revealing himself. Okay. I think we got a friend ahead. Not a friend. I don't know, we could be friends. Could be. So you both? They might be friends, I'm not sure. Unlikely, I saw someone earlier, Mm. sort of lurking in the wings. Oh? Mm -hmm. You saw lurkers? I didn't know what to think of it at the beginning. I thought maybe it was part of the act, or I I saw it and it just sort of, I don't know, um, it's distracted and, um, Anyway, yeah, I think it was from someone from the Corsairs. Keep us posted, Lana. Will do. Kill the puppy. Man, talking to her just always makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. <laughs> In the interim, while you two are, I would like you both one to make a stealth check as you are pursuing mm. this individual. Fail me. All right, all right, all right, all right. 17. Uh, 16. 16. Okay, got it. Uh, well, you guys begin to pursue carefully out of the chamber. The rest of you follow Stu Vaughn mm-hmm. uh, out of the wings of the theater into a hallway, into a switchback staircase that leads to a second floor on the level of where the rafters would have been. And a little further back, you can see there is a, a nice, kind of dark mahogany door that has these intricate carvings of the comedy and tragedy masks that are kind of mingled in with tree leaves and what looks to be almost like a, a relief composition of Drusar's spires in a simplistic way. Um, following into the interior, it's not a massive office by any means. Um, it's quite cluttered with the furniture that's there, and it has, you'd see a lot of collected antique furniture that has been used to fill most of the space here, almost to ensure that anybody that's entering and stepping at the edge of the desk to greet him is uncomfortably pressed into proximity, so the five of you pushing in there is very much kind of shoulder to shoulder as Tuvan steps around to the other side of his desk and sits down, crosses one knee over the other, places his hands on the edge. If you wouldn't mind closing the door for me, please. Mm. Thank you. Welcome. So, you're asking about disappearances. Where did you hear about this? All over. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> it's just everybody. <laughs> Twelve. Really? Everyone? I mean, I don't know everyone in this city. <laughs> Just, I mean, I think that was more of a, a general statement. Where did we hear about it? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's come up a lot. I mean, honestly. <laughs> the fact that we're even here should have you a little worried. Oh, I'm quite curious as to what your intent is asking these questions. Only to help you out. Really, just a few uh, deep-pocketed strangers come and see one of our matinee performances and decide out of the goodness in their heart that they're going to look into some disappearances that apparently have been rumored by everyone. Isn't it? Wouldn't you? much. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you be more su- suspicious if, if penniless, desperate people appeared at your door wanting to know about this stuff? So smart. It is possible there are good people in the world. Sits back and thinks for a second, and you kind of take in the garish office. You can see all sorts of baubles and posters of performances past that are like plastered along the walls. You can see Esmer and the Child of Light across the Osmit, under a ruddy night, the Calamity, an interpretive dance history of Xandria's greatest tragedy. To kill a god, the Scanlan Short Halt one man show. Oh! Like it's. 
designer of various <laughs> various performance posters from throughout the years have been collected and are on display. Uh, some seem to have maybe caught a bit of like moldy corners at the edges, but nevertheless, it is it is definitely a, a collection of keepsakes for uh, one man who is desperately trying to keep this theater what he wants it to be. You've been in business for a long time. Oh, I've been in business for uh, not enough time, but we're working on it. Look, I love it with you. If you are indeed here to help, it's not like you're going to do any more than the Wilders, Wardens have not done, and to just pressure me with questions. Yes, yes, we've had some disappearances. Don't know why, and I'm a bit frustrated that uh, anyone I've spoken with has turned up with no answers, and a lot of eyes seem to be on me. How long have they been going on? About three weeks ago was the first disappearance of our um, previous janitor. His name is Usha Breck. Say, say, say that again one more time. Uh, our, our previous janitor, Usha Breck, a uh, uh, very nice, uh, older halfling gentleman who'd been working here for over 10 years. Quiet, kept to himself, but was a good worker. Was uh, I didn't interact with him too much, but uh, he just sort of vanished. We thought maybe he just quit. Maybe he decided to move on. So we didn't think anything of it. I replaced the position, it was fine. Two weeks ago, we had a performance troupe come through known as the Diamond Mask. Uh, one of the performers, a half-giant actor who played not the lead, but one of the supporting roles named Sino, then vanished. The troupe began to ask questions. I, of course, have no answers, but, you know, performers, they can be flaky. Were these happening during the shows, or? To my knowledge, these disappearances were not noticed until either intermission or some point after the night's festivities. Right. Um, but, two performances is a little odd. Or two disappearances. Within that same week, we had two patrons vanish. Mrs. Eden Coldswell and Mr. Amir Lioto. Both, well, often at the same box that you currently took up seats in this night. Oh, mm. wow. But they disappeared. No one noticed until their family came around asking the next day, their separate families, what was the second gentleman's name? Uh, Mr. Emir Lioto. They uh, apparently were last seen here for our performance for the night. And that, this was that same troupe, the Diamond Masks, were performing during that time? They did bring the understudy, uh, believing that Sino, the performer, may have just absconded. Uh, so they were finishing out their run, and that's when these patrons apparently disappeared the night they were seeing the show. One week ago, we had an occasional patron named Yaden. I do not know his last name. Not very well off. Occasionally scrounged up the money for one of our backseat tickets. Um, younger gentleman, he apparently vanished as well and friends of his began to ask similar questions. So that's when I really began to take notice. My nerves began to fray a bit and uh, began to do my own internal investigations. But it's very hard to maintain focus while also trying to run a business. And it's about this time that word got to the wardens and they began to poke around and to no avail other than, well, beginning to make very presumptuous statements in and at my presence. And then three days ago, a young woman who was one of our rotating bartenders here at the theater, uh, named Lydney Osadala, she vanished, and she's the most recent. So we're now looking at a total of six people who have disappeared in the period of three weeks, and I'm growing anxious and worried 
So if you're looking to help, what do you have? Well, first of all, can I just say that that sounds uh, tragic and horrible, and I'm sorry that you had to go through all this, shouldering this burden of, of guilt and, and all by yourself. Um, but we can't help. Uh, we've been pretty good about finding people who either don't want to be found or, or have been lost themselves so far. We're one for one, right? Are you investigators? What is your um, trade, if I might ask? Um, you look a bit, um, and I mean this with nothing but the utmost respect, uh, in this light, you look a bit patchwork. <laughs> we are uh, intentionally as such, we're kind of a, a jack of all trades troop. Everyone brings something. Hmm. So, what are you looking for? The adoration of the innocence of Drusar? You're looking to make a name for yourself, or are you just wanting a payday? <clears throat> like, like many performers, we also have a patron, and he wants. Uh, he just wants to do some good in the world, so we're here to please him. Leans forward, getting a little darker in the face. So you were sent here by someone. Who sent you, if I might ask? We're not really at liberty to discuss that. I, for one, can say I'm excited to be a patron of the local arts in any way I can. We're not <laughs> fully um under his wing as of yet, so we only take jobs that um, appeal to our nature. So, just out of the goodness of your own heart. That hard to believe, huh? Sometimes. But we are purveyors of stories of hope here. And even in this old, long-dragged gut of mine, I would like to think there are individuals out here that wish to make a well difference. But you also want money, yes. If it happens, it happens. All of these people that went missing, what type of show was it? A matinee, an evening, was it all sorts? Ah. Uh, they all seem to be evening performances, if I recall. All right. Or at least the disappearances and were, were noticed by the next morning. All right. Um, any particular nights in general? There wasn't a pattern, if that's what you're asking. It's a bit scattershot on which days it happened. All right. And just to um, make sure that we have all of our um, geese in a row, um, you didn't have anything to do with it? I, absolutely not. I'm too busy to commit anything as foul. Did you build this structure yourself, or did you, do you buy it already after it was built? A little bit of both. I purchased it in a simpler state and expanded it, unleashing its potential. And do you have uh, an underground storage in this theater? We do. Would you mind if we took a look around there? Kind of glances back at the five of you again. You've been rather quiet. What's your specialty in this strange troupe? Oh, uh. Humble bard, <laughs> you know, a few jokes. You're a performer. Are you a performance troupe? Are you trying to use this to get yourself an audition? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, we all come from various backgrounds and found our way together. Because I respect the hustle. Well, you know, maybe once we've found. I want nothing less than to be on a stage. No offense. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, that clarifies something. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Oh, really? Well, it just sounds fun. It looked fun. They were all up there getting clapped at and stuff. 
Well, you know, maybe after all this is done, we can look at Dorian and FCG and, and Fern, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would love to, to perform as well. Ashton? Oh, boy. No, no, no. Oh, no. We'll watch from the wings. No, no, no. Uh, yes, I will notify the staff that you are here under my business to ask questions. And the staff would probably have better questions to, better answers to your questions than I would, since I don't really Ooh. directly deal with most of these uh, individuals of interest. Two quick ones, then. Act three quick ones, then. Throw in a fourth while you're at it. What do you want? Oh, four, then. Well, first, <laughs> do you know about any secret entrances, weird trap doors that may exist in, in the building, connecting to the center of the core spire, et cetera? No, the only trap doors we have are to the stage, and those are specifically just to go under the stage. We'll keep an eye on Ashton, for sure. Two, is there anyone working here who worked here before you got here? No, I am the oldest one. Three, it's possible Not to point out, but a lot of our employees are also very young, so. Sometimes there's someone who remembers something that's you know, way back there, these buildings are weird. And is it possible to get an address for that janitor that disappeared at some point? That would be where I'd want to start looking once we've scavenged the theory. If I'm going to be entirely honest, I have no idea where he lives. No, that's fair. Maybe you can ask some of the people in front. The staff might know. Yeah, they might. Also, you might want to let your staff know that we are A-OK -okay to be here. I will do so. Okay. I'll do it now, actually. Uh, please, exit. My quarters. Before we go, just just one quick question for me, just based on what we were talking about before. That isn't a costume, is it? <laughs> what <laughs> are you? And you can see now he leans in real close and starts inspecting me, kind of looking over the lens-like eyes and like, <coughs> pardon me, poking the metallic face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't. I don't honestly know. Um, but I, I think I was built um, to, to be helpful. But I was really curious about what you said before. How do you get into acting? Like, is it, do you take a class? Or like, do I need an agent of some sort? Like, I'm sure you get this question a lot. I do, please. Okay. Particularly with the voice. <laughs> People say I sound really cool. And, and I think that's all I really need. Get out! I'm going to slowly <laughs> grab fresh cut grass and drag them out of the room. Also, um, out! Uh, no, no, this is, one, this is actually important. Um, we have a couple of uh, uh, companions who are out right now on an errand, um, but they will be joining us here shortly, I assume. Um, a, a, a small man named Orm, he's a halfling, uh, very agile, brown hair, and um, a, a wonderful friend, uh, her name is Laudna, she is um, Walking partially cadaver. dead. Yeah. She, she can be intimidating in her presence. Dark hair, beautiful, Fine, gorgeous. Great. Rotting. Has a rat. I will notify the staff, just leave. Thank you. Orm, Laudna. They're joining us. Very well. Wait, Lorman got one more just right. for clarification. <clears throat> you said that, that, that people wouldn't notice that they were missing until the next morning? Or sometimes intermission. Or sometimes intermission. Or sometimes intermission. It, most of the individuals that disappeared, uh, I actually don't know the specifics. You might need to ask around. The half-giant, uh, the performer, was that in the middle of a show that he went missing, or, or at the end of it? That was afterward. Okay. All right. Do you have a, uh, uh, you run the whole ship, do you have a stage manager or someone who oversees what's going on? I have uh, two individuals that help me manage the length and breadth of the establishment that are my right-hand helpers. There's Tefta. She handles most of the business and financials with me. And there is Ocampo. Ocampo? Previously a performer, but has now become one of my stage managers mm. and helps run the ship. All right. Thank you very much. Of course. Reaches over and you can see kind of off to the side, there is an, an odd conical device that is affixed to the left-hand wall and kind of Leans into it. 
There is an odd trope when you hear an echoing through, and you now know <laughs> this is like a, a strange connecting series of audio tubes. A strange troop of se seven odd individuals that have my permission to wander the premises. Help them if you can. Two of them are apparently scattered about. There is a small childlike one named Borum. Borum. <laughs> And a creepy lady one. <laughs> I don't remember. Ladna. <laughs> Please exit. <laughs> oh, Door is closed. I leave my headshot on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Just, 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 yeah. just 17, 17 more questions. Just 17 more questions. <laughs> Is your resume stable to the back? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good, good. In the interim, I put it in an envelope full of confetti. I love it. Yeah, you call my. Pushback ready is a special skill. Thank you. <laughs> I have my own roller yeah. skates. I can twist it. <laughs> it hurts. Orman Lodge. Pursue your dreams, everyone watching. <laughs> Suffer with the rest of us. <laughs> no, that's the, that's that's the, the biggest sin. No, don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> Everything else, give it a shot. <laughs> the two of you have pursued into the uh, the entryway of the theater, the you know, holding entrance where we can see the, the ticket holders are no longer present, and there are a few people that are lingering and just having conversations. Uh, maybe a half dozen or so that are left in here, but uh, the doors are partially open and people are exiting, and you can see uh, the Dragonborn Usher is kind of just making sure that everyone leaves. Um, you catch just kind of fading past into the night air at this time, which it is a night. Oh boy, buckle up. Oh, oh shit. Um, you see what looks to be a similar figure. Heading off into the night air. Want to get a little air? Huh, sounds good. As we're walking through the lobby, too, I just want to kind of keep my ears open to see if I catch any chatter from the audience. If anyone's like, "Where's George?" I don't know. <laughs> what? Fuck is George? No talk of George, strangely. Okay. Um, but but a little bit of chatter you catch up on seems to be people going. Uh, well, uh, I it was a good show. I just wish maybe it was a bit longer, and somebody else is, you know, oh, I remember when I had a body like that. <laughs> Many years ago, I could climb and leap with the rest of them, but then I married you, <laughs> you know? And, <laughs> 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 <It's a matter>. <laughs> <laughs> um, you step out into the, the night air, and <laughs> Take care of yourself. And it's the city at night, right? It is like the lit. city at night. You can see the temperature is I want dropped. to know more about that. <laughs> <laughs> How did it come to this? <laughs> the next hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the temperature has dropped significantly for the night. It is a bit chilly, and there is a faint mist that is starting to kind of apparate along certain elements of the city around you. Um, make a perception check for me. That's a one. <laughs> that's not much better. Uh, <laughs> that's a 19. That's real good, though. Sure. It's pretty good. The better one. Yeah. I'll roll two of them. Three of them. Unfortunately, <sighs> you lost sight of them. Wow, a 19. Can I roll? Oh boy. You know what? Yeah. Like yeah, because you. Can. That's true, because you have advantage on that. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and roll separately. Yeah, I like got dark vision. Let's go, Dark Girl. Come on! No, no, no. <laughs> no, 12. I think you went. I think. I, no, you went that way. No, I was right? watching him. He was. I, went, I, I jump six feet in the air and try to look over the crowd and then land back down. Shit. There's a, a child. About your height, who was holding hands with the mom, who's in the mid conversation on the outside, who was just staring at you, and goes, Cool. Well. <laughs> and just like buries his face into his mom's skirt. <laughs> Stay away from the theater, kid. You want to go back inside? I guess well, that was so short lived. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. 
Sorry. <laughs> Rolled really high. The entire time wandering around the theater wondering where the fuck we went. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the lower men's room. I'll try the upper women's okay. room, I guess. And we'll just cross ways again. All right. <laughs> okay. Quickly discover the bathroom's here, unisex. But yeah. You... <laughs> it's impressive. It's good. Good for them. Um, you. Wander a bit, trying to. Uh, are you looking for the rest of the troop, or are you doing your own investigations here? Uh, I guess we're touring the theater. Yeah, at this I guess point, we'll until we find them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, should we search? Come with me. All right. I lead us to the spot where I first spotted the person, and I'm just going okay. on the off chance that they dropped their parking ticket. Sure. Roll an investigation <laughs> check for me. Coach. Uh, 17. 17, not bad. Um, they didn't drop anything. Mm-hmm. You feel confident that you're not missing anything, but they were only, you get the sense that they were only there briefly. Mm-hmm. That's a big fat dud. Yeah, I'm stumped. You want to talk to Imogen? See where they're at? Yes, I'd check in with Imogen. Oh, well, we lost him. Oh, right oh, whoever they were. Pushed out from the, the, the chamber of your conversation, you hear the terrifying whispers of Ladna into your mind. Oh, perfect timing. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't start that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to decide that you like smelled bad or something. Hey, I'm not the one <laughs> In dirt. Yeah, you introduced yourself as being covered in shit, Liam. It's true. Cross <laughs> campaign wounds. Go back to episode one. <laughs> um, we are about to tour their underground storage facility. If you would like to join us, Ooh. they're about to tour the underground storage facility. Meet you by the. Where are we going? I don't know where to tell you, but we'll meet you on the ground level. Should we do, uh, should we come with you, or should we uh, expect others, inspect other areas while you're distracted? No, we've got the run of the place now, so come with us. We could use all the eyes we could get. All right, Mm -hmm. let's meet them downstairs. As you gather up uh, in the main theater chamber, is that where you're meeting at? Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, Ground let in the main theater chamber. Is that where? That's where we're gonna go. Sure. Um, the donor seats. As you convene there, you see stepping off the stage a uh, kind of human man in his thirties, uh, reddish brown skin, wavy black hair that covers over one eye and goes just past kind of the chin. Uh, you can see he has all manner of jewelry that are visible peeking through from underneath the uh, jet black baggier outfit that he's currently wearing over his body. Um, you can see it has like a hood that's placed over the shoulder. Um, make a history check for me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, ten. Ten. Yeah. You don't pick up anything noteworthy or memorable of this, um, but the figure kind of steps off the stage. Uh, all right. So we're supposed to be showing you around, I guess. I'm Ocampo, I'm the stage manager. Oh, oh yeah. What, did, what are you looking for? We're looking for clues. About? We know there's been some uh, some disappearances around here. Oh, We're trying I to get a bead on maybe some, some uh, entrances that we don't know about or yeah. exits. You know about the disappearances, right? I'm, I'm well aware, yes. How aware? Well, I, 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 I've worked with the a couple of them, th- three of them if we include the performer, but that was a temporary time. Yeah, why? I was just trying to figure out if you had something to do with it. Ex- no. Excuse my friend, I, I, I think what she means is, do you have an opinion about perhaps what's been happening? We always ask such specific questions. We never ask the person's feelings. What did you feel happened very, here? Very, very smart. Nice. Mm. Thank you for asking. Um, I mean, I'm, look, uh, Usha was a very sweet man, just kind of kept to himself. Uh, make a persuasion check. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, that'd be uh, 24. 24, okay. 
yeah, he kind of opens up to you immediately. He's like, Usha was a very, very nice man. Uh, you know, it was worked here before I started. I've only been here for about three, four years as a, as a stage manager. I was a performer beforehand and just kind of stuck around. Um, but um, the, he was very nice. He, he was emphatic in keeping everything clean in and outside of the theater. He kept the surrounding streets clean. Um, he's just very into his work. Uh, nice like, uh, genuinely nice or nice like, boy, I always thought he was such a nice guy, too bad he ate the neighbors, you know? That's a, did he eat the neighbors? No, 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 uh, never mind. Uh, it was very nice, very nice. I, I, no weird I, vibes. No, no, just kept to himself. That was kind of sad vibes, if that makes sense. Seemed a little lonely. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know too much about, uh, Mrs. Caldwell and the other one. Um, you might want to ask Tefta. I know that she had kind of more of a rapport with them. Um, yeah. Tefta, in general, had a little more face time with a lot of the the patrons here. I just kind of ran things from behind the stage. I feel bad about Lydney, though. She was very sweet. She'd only been here for a few months. Bright-eyed young woman, wanting to you could see she wanted to be an actor herself, and this was kind of you know, what she thought was her shoe in. She mentioned it a few times, and I passed it up the chain. And you know, maybe there was an opportunity down the road to have her in for an audition, and then. So, if if you did, if you wanted an audition, you are the person to talk to about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I mean, I can pass it along, but I mean, all of that goes through Stuvan. Um, he's the one with the eye for talent. We're in basement storage, right? That's what we just uh, said. Right. Right. You guys are kind of like walking and talking as you go. Okay. Um, you're getting to that space, just like pulling out keys and the key ring and starting to situate. And Did goes, you see Usha or Lydney the night they went missing? Uh, I, do you have any memory of it? I, I did, yeah. I think I did, yes. Do you remember where they were when you last saw them? Usha was just doing his usual rounds, cleaning the inside, cleaning the outside. It, it's, it's kind of his business. And Lydney was at the bar? Lydney was at the bar. Um, she, was, she was very nice, she was a very quiet girl. Kind of kept to herself on her breaks. Where did she go on her breaks? I, I don't know specifically. I think maybe outside she, I don't know for certain, but you could smell on her clothes sometimes. I think she, uh, I think she enjoyed partaking in the burning of various uh, tobaccos. Oh. All right. Usha, the, the first to disappear. As janitor, did he have did, did he have keys? A, a master key? Did he have access to all of the theater? Yeah, who all wow. had keys to the theater? I would be between me, Stuvan, and Tefta would be the only three with access to the entire theater. Mm. Um, Usha would have had uh, access to the front door and all of the central chambers, but the offices and uh, the storage basement he would not have had keys to. Hmm. All right. What type of performer <coughs> did you use to, uh, what, what, what did you do? Oh, well, I, I, I was a actor. Oh. Mm. And a poet, depending on what was required of me at the time. Wow. Very cool. Impromptu poetry or rehearsed? Oh, I, I was reading other people's poetry. I, was, oh. I, I guess orator <laughs> should be the specific Terms. I did not write my poetry, but I was very good at speaking oh. other people's words. Like forensics. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, cool. Anyway, and opens the door, and you can see the staircase descends into a, a, a lightless expanse Ooh, this below. This is always the creepiest part of a theater. Yeah. Goes ahead and reaches up and grabs a lantern and kind of like turns, and you can see the wick kind of light a bit and pulls the oil lantern down. You're coming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before before we plunge, I would like to uh, uh, hang back as everyone's going down and just take one last scan of the house and anything I can see from the stage and see if I can clock uh, Cyrus. Yeah, make a perception check. Uh, 17. Not bad. You do a thorough scan in a short period of time, feeling confident that looking within the inside, no sign of Cyrus. I get unnaturally close to him. <clears throat> what are you looking oh, for? Oh, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> uh, to make. Did you see something? Uh, 
No, no, I, I was just making sure everyone uh, made it out safely from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> we lost that creepy guy really quick. Oh, good. I'm yes. Sure. Well, well, no, wait. not, oh. I mean. He lost us. You, you lost him? We, uh, it's a fascinating way, because it depends on how you phrase it, I guess. I suppose oh. if it was a threat, we lost him, but if mm. you were after him, he lost you. Oh, makes you think. Are you coming? Uh, yes. <laughs> right. I try to find everyone in the dark safe. Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> I attack. <laughs> <laughs> no! You're so dead. Dead. Well, well, theater TV TV. I whistle a jaunty tune. <laughs> Don't think I didn't think about there being some sort of a curse laid on this theater. Um, so you descend, following into the basement area here, and with the light that you can see curling from the lantern, um, there are large cases, like luggage compartments and and locked boots that have bits of costumes like spilling out on the side of where they were closed. You can see there is cobwebs everywhere. This is this is the graveyard of performances past, where props and portions of stage decor and flats are kind of just left and forgotten in the far end. It, it is truly nightmarish without context and still creepy with context to see just this odd arrangement of nonsensically fit together colors and shapes and furniture and masks and you know partial creature bodies and crowns and uh, weird human faces that are painted over and all lit by the singular lantern as he passes through and over. I've never been so comfortable anywhere in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> or or I'm right? specifically yeah. looking for anything that is not, look, looks like it's been moved, disturbed, not covered in dust, and sitting there for 10 years. Is it all right if I Prince. help out with that? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Your crackling lights begin to disperse throughout the room, and you watch as Ocampo turns. Oh, keep yours lit as well, by all means. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is where we store the things when they're not being used. We generally keep a central pathway here, and he kind of begins to describe the. He tries to describe how well organized it is, but the more he describes it, you can see he's beginning to admit that it's not very well organized. And he's like, uh, I, I was meaning to change that out. That needs to be moved. Um, <laughs> there was a space here, but that fell off the top, and I, we just never got around it. <sighs> it's not usually like this. It's <laughs> clearly always yeah, like this. Yeah. Yeah. No insight check. But yeah. make a perception check for me. Perception or investigation, your choice. In general, is everything pushed up against the walls, or are there openings around where the walls are for fire? No, no, this is very much not fire safe. Everything is pushed up against the walls. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. One code. One yeah. Code. Okay. Oh no. Uh, yeah, you can you can see where um, where certain pieces of, of equipment have been shifted and moved. Um, it's not like this room is left. Abandoned the entire time. A lot of things that are put into storage and then brought out for other performances are dragged in and out. You can see certain regions of the room are are left to f to far more dust and decay comparatively, and the areas that are closer to the door have a lot less dust. And you can see are placed in specifically there because they get the most use. And those involve like chairs and tables, you know, kind of generalized furniture that can be utilized for multiple different types of performances, as well as general costumes. You can see one space where it looks like it has uh, outfits that have uh, almost a, a um, Isilra design to them, colder and furred based. Um, you can see some that look almost they might uh, lean a little bit towards the Dundalian Empire. You can see the reds and golds. There are all these different, like, kind of cheap <laughs> versions of different cultural locations from around Exandria that have all been kind of just left off to to die in the shaded corners of the chamber. There's a two person bear costume here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hate to be the back. But no. Uh... No signs of rock scatter from shade creeper holes yeah. <laughs> anywhere along the edges. Mm, do you want to do a thorough inspection yeah. of it? Uh, so I want to like start tapping the walls with the hammer just to see if anything gives a sound, things like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Anywhere, the crate too. has been. Yeah. Okay. Uh, going throughout the room, 
you do not see any sign of such holes or exits or anything that would be akin to what you had previously encountered dealing with the Shade Creepers. Yeah, I try on a hat. <laughs> it's a little big on you. It kind of like falls past your eyes, but it still is kind of good. You guys see this wide, like, brim dark hat, not unlike what, uh, well, commonly see Robbie wearing. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of, it drifts past his eyes like a child trying on his dad's woody costume. Guys, look how handsome I am. <laughs> you look great. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and gently injure one of the tables or or chairs just to see if it reacts. <laughs> it's not like it wouldn't yeah. have helped before. <laughs> yeah, you're a really traumatized. <laughs> That's my world upside down. <laughs> injure it gently. Real it like scrapes across the ground. The the um, the table that you smack on the side, you could see uh, it leans to one way, and where the table is kind of nailed in, or the, the leg is nailed in, it's now bent slightly to one side, but it doesn't mm. seem to react otherwise. Is there like a prop, a prop chest, or a? Or a there are a handful prop of prop chests around here. Yeah. I want something. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll a d6 for me. Let's go, Klepto. Okay. Lobna mends the table that was just injured by Ashton. It snaps back into place. <laughs> Five. If you just freaked out, you would have been really happy. <laughs> you. Okay. Uh, you open up a chest and immediately glancing down inside, you can see what looks to be just piles and piles of white lace dresses. <gasps> <laughs> What'd you find? It's Ashley's closet. It's <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they appear white, and then you get a little closer and look at it, and they've kind of yellowed with time oh, slightly, okay. but they look to be, uh, you know, designed in a way to to exhibit uh, nobility, not of Marquesian nature or history, but from some uh, further off land in Exandria. Um, definitely. Uh, theater decadent, where it looks beautiful, and the closer you get, you're like, oh, this is meant to function as a costume, just seen from a distance. This is the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Um, roll, roll, roll a slide <laughs> of hand, yeah. It's got Velcro on. Oh. <laughs> Probably not. Nine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You notice that Ocampo has the lantern facing the other way and is like, I'm not entirely certain what you're looking for, uh, but you know, take your time. Uh, it's like doesn't you. notice anything. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Looking in a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, does not notice at all. Oh, oh wow! Nice. Oh. He is okay. not we very good. He rolled yeah. very low. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I'm gonna go up to fresh cut grass. Mm. What? Did you learn anything? Wanna? I was gone. Any info? Uh, we learned that, oh, oh, that's right, you weren't with us. <coughs> we learned there's been a series of disappearances and there's about six people missing. Six. They have no obvious relation to each other. No uh, obvious relation. Other than the fact that they all disappeared here, either during or after a show. Um, also just learned that there's a whole stack of cat costumes back there. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. They look very jellical. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I grab one. Why do they all have little buttholes sewn onto it? <laughs> they look added later, but then some of them look like they were taken off. That, that was not my artistic vision. That was specifically Stuvan's interest to try and rebrand the show. It's not great. I do not recommend it. Look, this one wears Converse. Oh, that's so weird. Interesting choice. <laughs> well, have you found what you're looking for? No, no, not at all. <laughs> we were looking for for some sort of uh, entrances or exits down here, but there are none. No, I mean, that's where we came in. Does this cover everything? This is the only chamber down here. There's no other levels, no other chambers. No, okay. it, this is not like a quorum fortress. We, we're a theater troupe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are there any other uh, rarely used areas? Fly space, uh, other areas? Yeah, sometimes I'm told um, in the theater. Uh, uh, two performers might um, become amorous with each other and maybe sneak off to the to to mm. somewhere uh, unseen so How they can canoodle. That, FCG? Oh, I, this isn't my first day rolling around, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to go off your question, you're in that room. Um. Which, by the way, don't touch that table. That's why that's it was so a, wobbly. No. 
It looks suspicious. Mm. But as far as other spaces, like there, there are rafters above the stage. Um, there is, I mean, Tefta's in her office probably for the next hour or so. We should go talk to Tefta. No, we did want to do a full investigation. Of course, of course, yeah. Start with Tefta and then fan out through the whole theater. Yeah, is there like a staff break room at all or? Green room? Kind of, it's Can in the backstage. Rooms? Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take you there. <clears throat> Leads you back up, closes and locks the door behind, and leads you to the uh, a, a pathway, a hallway that you didn't see that is kind of like a to the the back side of the theater that leads to the backstage. And you can see there is a green room that is literally just the back part of the stage. And there, Kendra's flying lauders are all there, with like uh, it looks like a glass bottle of some sort of brandy in the middle that is like half drinking, and they're all kind of laughing a bit and telling stories and having drinks, and they're kind of just winding down. There, you get the sense that. Most of the the space in this this dreamscape theater is for the patrons, and uh, you know everyone else backstage just kind of figures it out with what space they got. Um, it's not bad, but as you approach, you see like someone raise their glasses over towards you, kind of on the opposite side of the chamber, and keep talking amongst themselves. So this is our backstage. Uh, this is where the ladders go up to the, the la rafters this way. This is where we control uh, the curtains and any sorts of, uh, well, you know, for their performance, any points where you can see like where there are the, the trapeze hanging um, swings and all the various elements there. You can see where the ropes attach and let them down. Uh, I handle these uh, along with, um, uh, with Tina and Evan, who, after taking tickets, come and help me with everything backstage. Um, what else can I show you? Uh, is there an area that the staff would be able to access to get to like a back alley or anything? Oh, there is, yes. Yeah, uh, that is um, kind of, and, and kind of walks to the back hallway that led you into the the backstage and you can see there is a door that exits uh, out into the back alley. So this leads into, you know, there's an alley that runs entirely around uh, the building upstairs in the front here. Uh, and you recall like it's, you know, there's the large wall of the, the spire not immediately butted against the alley. There are some buildings in between, but there's a lot of dense buildings in the vicinity, and the theater just kind of stands out in the middle of it all, like it's carved its own little little kingly space in this neighborhood. Can I look around the alley and around the door and see if I can find any areas that, um, like, I see little cigarette butts or anything drop mm -hmm. to the ground? You can, yeah. Um, God. Oh, thank you. Perception or investigation check, your choice. Okay. Why do I suck? <laughs> um, that would be a, th uh, oh, the guide info. It's not gonna make any difference, that's a four. But we'll try it anyway. <laughs> Five plus four. So nine. Nine, you got it. Um, Isn't that a nine? No, that's a two. That's a nine! That's a nine. Hey, that's nine plus three is twelve. Plus four is sixteen. Whoa, that is that's a that's a motion roller coaster there. Yeah. Okay. Um, stepping out. Don't suck. Thanks, Ashley. The heavy door has a few locks on it, um, and Kempo opens it and it leads you out into the, the alleyway behind. You can see there's like a bit of a uh, a street divot in the center, so that any sort of rain can run itself off into the main road. Um, kind of brick side elements of the alley. It smells a bit musty, but like any other alley here in the city, um, you can see there's some kind of discarded bits of refuse and some construction materials that have been left abandoned from unseen projects there. Uh, it looks like any alley. Kind of looking around the space, you don't see anything directly around the door that would resemble any sort of uh, tobacco paraphernalia or leftover materials from a person who is smoking. Okay. <clears throat> Go talk to Tefta. All right, I'll, I'll show you to her office. Kempo brings you up on the opposite side. What you can sense, from, as far as the structure is for the main theater itself, the opposite end of where Suvan's office is. There is a secondary office. Kempo we'll kind of knocks on it. Uh, Tefta, I have those visitors that uh, Stuvan said are to uh, ask questions about. And a voice from the side goes, "All right, let them in." <laughs> mm, door opens. 
Immediately as the door opens, you smell this strong, flowery perfume that just, like a, like a punch of Sephora, just hits you <laughs> as a wave. The door opens up on the inside. There is uh, an office that is decorated in uh, garish pinks and yellows. And you can see on this, not even a desk, but like a, a curved table, uh, an, an older gnomish woman. Uh, who looks to be what would be the human equivalents of her fifties or so, later fifties, in this like curled, almost beehive hair that looks like it's bright, bright, vibrant red, but you can see it's graying at the edges. That you can't tell if that's natural or the dye's fading. Um, she has these elongated glasses that come to horned edges, and just the the makeup is glorious in the the. The extravagant use of blush and reds to match the hair tone. Um, the dress is almost flapper tastic in the, the tassels that hang from it. And you can see there's a bunch of books and pages and ledgers and other things around, and what looks to be a collection box of coins. And you can see gold and silver that immediately kind of shifts underneath something before turning. How can I help y'all? Evening. Oh, hello. Handsome little boy, come here. <laughs> I'm Tefta. Um. Uh, we're the um. We're. We don't have a name. Um. We're doing. We need a name. We, need a name. we really do need a That's name. That's a side issue. That is a Brandon 101 mistake, I say. <laughs> but it go on. Uh. Well, we're patrons of the arts and also uh, concerned citizens and. Uh, we understand that there's been some, and I'm sorry if this is a sensitive subject, but disappearances around the theater. Indeed, indeed. Very sad, very sad, very mysterious. Can I um, detect thoughts? Certainly. I didn't. <laughs> oh, actually, no. <laughs> uh, you, catch, you catch waves of curiosity upon the first bit. Then sadness, then an aroused curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> and she leans forward and says, Well, we're very lucky to have a bunch of handsome helpers coming through here to discover what mysteries might unfold. Oh. <sighs> um. See the theater. It's full of randy people. <laughs> it's true. I apologize. I, I imagine that everyone who works here has answered these questions tenfold, but um, we're really trying to uncover every last stone in the place. Of course, honey, of course. You got this. You got this. You got this. It's all in your head. head. I'm just going to say, keep just, it going. Uh, <laughs> bonka dunk, <a> <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Wow, there's so, so many. many. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <sighs> Can you take us back to the beginning of all this? Does anything stick out in your mind? Does the owner here or anyone have any enemies? I think persuasion check. Mm, not great. Ten, even. Ten. She goes, well, I mean, Stuvan has made a number of enemies through the years, usually um, performers that made promises they couldn't keep and were paid accordingly. And, you know, no matter how nice some folks try and uh, present their skill, maybe they hold grudges. But anyway. Is it possible <laughs> to try to probe a little bit deeper as she's... Ooh. Ooh. She's thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> you probe deeper, and the thoughts within her mind go to, this is a strange looking crew, but if I can pry a little companionship out of it, I'll say whatever they want me to. Plenty of enemies. But it doesn't sound like enough to push to violence. I certainly hope not. I mean, something like that for this long takes talent, and honey, let me tell you, none of them had any. 
What did you do? Thigh. <laughs> did you? I mean, you just. You I'm have such a <laughs> performer <laughs> essence. Uh, oh, me? No, I am not a girl for the stage. I got a mind for business and coin, honey. Oh. Oh. Look. She's so theatrical. One does not have to be, and I mean this without offense, but. She keeps looking at you. <laughs> oh, I can see a performer when they walk before me, honey. <laughs> But you don't have to be pushing for talent to be talented. And that does not mean you have to push yourself upon other people with your persona to be effective. I'm a shrewd businesswoman. I look past the lies of others, and I know how to get contracts situated and set. I make this place money, and I keep it afloat. I'm so intimidated by her. She's amazing. And now you know why I work how I do. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You're flustered. It's, Hi, it's yeah, okay. It's weird. <laughs> two missing patrons. That's got to be a problem. Mm, yeah. Well, more than two. Three. More than two. Yeah. Three missing patrons. Three. Yeah, I didn't, uh, he's a he's a curious fella. But the uh, if you ask me, it's not entirely unknown that uh, Miss Eden Caldwell and Mr. Amir were carrying on an affair. Miss Eden. Eden and Amir. Mm -hmm. Is it possible they went off to have a rendezvous in the middle of the show? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. This is where they came to meet up. In fact, often during intermission is when they would go ahead and uh, go someplace no one will find them. Have sexy time somewhere? No, I assumed it was going to get a drink and talk about their day. Oh. <laughs> it was um, would that be? Of course, sexy. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so sexy boring. time usually happens in the storage, not. Uh, oh, I'm they in. can't get to the storage. They don't have a key. Oh well, then where would they go? I don't know. Some place where no one will find them. On the premises, you think, though? I imagine. We're not far from it. So we got to find the place. That even the actors didn't know to go to bone. All right, so we got to think about we got to get in the headspace of people that need to, need to. Uh, so we like all somebody just think Randy thoughts for Please don't, life. please don't. Like I, I don't want to know. Around image. You know? <laughs> no, we have to find, <laughs> we have to find the bone no, zone for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you mentioned this uh, Eoden, what was their deal? Eden. No, no, there was the another one. one. There's an Eoden. There's an Eoden. He's a young man. Oh, Eoden, is that what his name was? Yeah, I thought He generally picked up whatever the uh, the cheapest tickets were and negotiated his way to a uh, dirt poor seat, but uh, popped on every here and there. At first, we weren't sure if he was just an enjoyer of the arts, and I think part of it was, but also, he got in trouble twice, because I caught him uh, selling some Kepper dust to some of our patrons. Kepper dust? Ke mm. Kepper? Kepper dust, yeah. Kepper dust. For those uh, not from the streets, what is what is Kepper dust? <laughs> I mean, I never had the stuff myself, mm. but uh, from what I heard, it's just something that, uh, it's like a snuff that takes you on a trip for a while. <gasps> and what does it look like? I don't know, I've never seen it. All right. All right. So, so they, Yadin was here buying or selling Kepper dust. Selling Kepper selling dust, but Kepper he got in trouble. We told me he had to take it off the premises. So. And where would he go to sell? I don't know. Wasn't selling it in here. So, three three of the vanished were into sort of illicit, sneaky things. What about the others, the performers mm -hmm. and the janitor? Yeah. What do you the know bartender? about Sino, who uh, came through? Sino, uh, look, I don't mean to be a receptacle for so much hearsay, but it does keep me interested amongst business. Sino was a bit of a drunkard, if you ask me. Showed up to a few performances a bit uh, high on the sauce and uh, caused a few arguments when they first set up their performances. There was a bit of a scuffle, I won't say a scuffle, but a, a loud confrontation the night that they finished his final performance before he uh, drunkenly wandered off. Last anyone ever saw him. Confrontation with who? The rest of his performers. Mm. Left mm. the theater that night? Possible. The uh, Diamond Diamond Mask? What was the name of the crew? The Diamond Mask. The Diamond Mask, yeah. So they were in residence when these disappearances, when Usha left. Mm -hmm. They were here? 
They were. And did they move on to another theater, or? They did, they packed up their things and left. They figured that he probably left, and after the argument, maybe went and found his fortunes elsewhere. They had an understudy who, to be perfectly honest, was far more talented than that Sino fellow. Hmm. Fit the costumes better, too. Um, but once he was gone, they seemed to move on quickly, and I don't know where they found themselves here in Marquette ever since. And Lydney? Yeah, Lydney. Sweet girl. Didn't make friends often, kind of just did her thing. She was a good employee. You could tell she was still kind of coming out of her shell before she disappeared. It's sad. We gotta find that secret spot. Sounds like everyone was loners, right? Everyone. Sounds like people leaving the theater. Yeah, find something. A, well, you got a lover's tryst, an entrepreneurial spirit, someone going out to smoke, and an actor left in a huff. Is there a rooftop yeah. or a balcony? Or there's a, gotta be. At least yeah. there's an alley. But that, the access to that is backstage, so it wouldn't. Yeah. When the alley itself runs around the building, people can access it. And that's true. You can exit from that point. We do have a rooftop, but that's inaccessible to anyone who doesn't work here either. Okay. <laughs> Empty rooms, offices that aren't aren't used. Um, and everything here that's not in use is just the open space for the patrons. It's my office backstage. Stuvan's office and the storage facility. Everything else is just meant for the performance area. And the restrooms? restrooms. Oh, and the restrooms, too, but. Where, where did Amir and Eden sit Boy, didn't traditionally? They, didn't uh, Stuvan say that was, they sat well, in they our, sat box? Box. our box? Mm -hmm. Oh, you owe you some box spending patrons. Thank you. <laughs> well, I feel like we should just look around. We should look around. I think we should check out that alley more. I, I, didn't really get a good look. Yeah, we just look near the box. Yeah, yeah. near the restroom. So yeah, is it okay gotta... if we give like a thorough look around, really put this to bed? Anything you want, honey. <clears throat> Anything. Where would you go oh, in here if you wanted to, uh, you know, engage in a little hanky panky with someone? Where would you, you mean go? Mean where have I gone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, but you can't say the basement. Because that's a given. Oh, honey, how do I narrow it down? <laughs> I've left my mark up and down this theater. Oh. You cast black light. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> where would you go? Or where would um? Where would it make sense to? Well, I have access to everywhere, so I go everywhere. All right, but uh, meaning if you were, you know, a mirror Eden. Where would you go? I mean, likely out of the restrooms or elsewhere. There's not a whole lot of places of privacy around these parts. Check In the restroom. Yeah. Right? Yeah, right. that's a good place to look. So, Yadin or Yad, what is it? Yadin. 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 I, um, heard I, I heard that he, he came here a lot. Was there a specific Yadin. place that he would sit? Yadin? He would just take whatever seats were available whatever and he would seat. negotiate it down, take the. The leftovers, if you will. It wasn't a wasn't a young boy of much means. Okay. Going outside to buy or sell product though is not insane. Mm -hmm. Right. Selling in the restroom also not insane. <laughs> also not insane. Should we split up and go scour the, the theater before the next show starts? How long do we have before the next show starts? Um, she kind of glances over, and you can see there is a, a glass sphere on the edge of her table that you can see it turning to like a, a darker tint to it. I'd say, you got about an hour and a half before we start That's opening the doors. Good enough. One more question. Mm hmm. One word, first word that pops into your head when you look at us. Lucky. Lucky. Oh, that's a good Lucky. word. Lucky. Man, it just feels like we're getting further and further from the name. You're right. Think you're right. Just getting steered in every direction. Lucky in trouble. Lucky in trouble. Mm. Lucky in trouble. Truckle. Anything else I can help you all with? Tucky. No, we'll, we'll, Lovely. We'll, we'll, we'll get out of your hair. Let's just, let's Lucky. just go. Tucky levels. <laughs> well, good luck and. If you're ever curious about some of our special memberships, there are 
arrangeable pricing on certain seats. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, you've been very helpful. I know I am. Well, good luck, hope you figure it out. <clears throat> As we leave, I'm just gonna go, turns out you don't need to cast a tech thoughts to understand. What the fuck she's thinking? <laughs> it was very but, thinly veiled innuendo. But if you do cast it, you get a far more detailed explanation. Oh, I don't know. Oh, and, were there oh. membership tiers? Is that sort of thing available? <laughs> she's very oh, tiers. confident. Yes. yes, she was. You know, that's that's yeah. admirable. Yeah. Honestly, it's very healthy. Absolutely. Bathroom? Bathroom? Anybody? I bathroom? See things I've never seen. Really? You no. Know, nope. Really? Really? What's one? Heard. One specific. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a general idea of a, of a position, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Feel like Limbs in places. I'll tell you later on. <laughs> okay. No much compatibility, it gets real creative. <laughs> <laughs> Limbs in places. Yeah. I thought the acrobats were doing some leaps earlier. All right, where to first? Mm. Uh, are we sticking together? Are we splitting up? I feel like we'll, we only have 90 minutes now. I'm gonna check out the rafters. I, I'll All go right. near the, the box. Bathroom. I'll check the upstairs restroom. All right. I'll check the other one. How many restrooms are there in this There's place? Two. All right. I guess I'll, I'll go with you to the box, or I, I could check out the alley, maybe get a better idea of the alley. Didn't you have, okay, sure, yeah, whatever Actually, you want. Let's, let's do both. You're, I feel like a stiff wind will knock you over and worries me. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is there a pit? Is there an orchestra pit? There is an orchestra pit. Yeah. I'll go down the orchestra pit. Okay. Yeah, I'll help. I'll help him check with the different boxes. Who's okay? Who, uh, who's going to the bathrooms? Sorry. Um, yeah. So, all right. So you're going to which bathroom first? Uh, upstairs first. Okay. Uh, you you I'll, head into the restroom. I'll grant. I'll I'll, I'll I'll cast enhance ability on you All right. for All right. um. Let's see here. Mm. Intel intelligence. Oh. So I get. Yeah. You have advantage on all advantage checks. checks. Inclu including, I assume, like investigation. Yeah, investigation okay, would yeah, be cool. intelligence check. Yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty. You feel this sudden surge of energy within you, and for a moment, your already fairly clever mind is. Crisp and picking out details that you didn't initially see. Red Bull. All right. <laughs> Not entirely on wrong. Um, you are you heading to the top or the bottom restroom first? Top first. Top first. Okay, you head to the top restroom, which is kind of off in the corner, uh, on the secondary floor. And you know, like a lot of the restrooms here, you enter and there is a, a seating arrangement, but it is largely just a a hole in a tube with a seat built around it. All right. um, effective, um, and you know, <laughs> polished, and, and there are some flowers in here. Um, but if you would like to inspect it, you can make an investigation check with advantage, if you'd like. Uh, yes. Poop with advantage. Uh, it's been a while. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, thank god I had advantage. Uh, 10. 10. Ew, what? Um, no. <laughs> Glancing I, I through, you rolls. <laughs> it's a small roll, or it's a small, small, it's a small roll. It's a small chamber as well. Um, <laughs> nothing catches your eye as out of the ordinary. Um, it's fairly well kept. This one, you know, for a restroom, looks like this one's probably utilized by more of the upper crust patrons. As the direct line from here is the upper uh, boxes, and it's just a single single chamber, like a single room. Correct. Nowhere to hide. Yeah. No, no it's way to block four the door. walls, a door, and the pot. No vent. Vents, yeah. No vent above, so which good. is unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. I look down the hole. Three times what do you see? What do I see? What do you think you see? Shit. <laughs> 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 Deep <Whoa>. cut! <laughs> oh. Never forget. Never forget. I think I can get it. <laughs> Lost forever. Lost. Sorry, Laura. That's all good. Um, <laughs> like throwing the sword back at the lady in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Just a shithole. Yes! All right. 
Cool. <laughs> Downstairs. 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 This one is not as well cleaned, well as kept. This is kind of the general public area. This one does have a vent. It does have a, uh, looks like two different slits in the wall that just open up to the outside. They're about an inch wide. Uh, the paint here is cracking a bit, <laughs> um, but similar structure, similar you know general interior of the two, of, of the second room is the first. Oh, that's a little better. Uh, 13. 13? Climbing the ranks. Um, I know. I don't know my investigation shit. Okay. It, it seems to you know, have been recently repaired to a certain degree, but beyond that, it is a bathroom. Recently repaired in which ways? Meaning it looks like you can see there's like fresher sealant in the bottom of where the, the seat hits the ground. How fresh would I know? Uh, make an intelligence check. All right. Let's taste it. Just straight intelligence. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I should have been doing this the whole time. Twenty total. Whoa. Wow. wow. Uh, it's maybe a couple months old. Looking around, everything else around here has like a layer, uh, like of, of kind of just age to it and grodiness. But the the sealed base around where it is, whatever substance was used to kind of kind of seal the hole to whatever the the seat is there. Uh, is a bit lighter than the rest, and you can see it's a bit fresher. Mm, I don't know. Can tap the tap the walls, see if anything sounds weird. Look at check the, the vent. Yeah. Nothing catches your eye. Nothing catches your ear. I'm gonna look in the hole. It's my yeah. turn. Yeah. Of course. Oh. <laughs> you find what you expect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A tiny assassin. No. <laughs> Do it! Take that! First Ghoulies remake. Worm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next up. Yeah. Tiny assassin. Well, fine. Uh, I mean, the. Yeah. It is just a hole. Like, you know, like, like most of the restrooms here, they, they are just holes that progress deep we into the rock and vanish. Literally shit out of luck. <sighs> While you guys are doing that, who's going to the box? I'm going to the box. Oh, All right. you're coming? Yeah. You step back up to the box where you stayed. What are you looking for? Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So um, I'm going to look in the curtains. I'm going to look under the chairs. I'm going to look just every possible yeah, place. I'm going to look for false panels in the wall, oh, or God. curtain pulls that open secret doors, or even. If you tilt a chair back, it opens, it opens like a, a secret slot. door. <laughs> All righty. Up but above, even, or? Totally. Make either a perception or investigation check. Okay. Your choice. I'll go for perception. 23. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Uh, perception or what? It's investigation. Oh, okay, let's do this. Uh, 15. 15, okay, very good. Uh, you do not pick up any sort of Sliding doors or uh, interesting panels. It seems like it's a fairly solidly built box. What you do pick up is where this, where you sit and face outward along the railing. It looks like there is looks like scratches in the wood, in the interior. But you can see one of them kind of sits between the set of uh, four chairs that are normally arranged here. As they had to bring more chairs up to. Get you guys situated for this box for your group size. Normally, you can see they've taken those away, and it's just four chairs that sit in this box. Normally, you can see on the kind of the, between the uh, the situations uh, between the the two sets of two to each side, where the scratches are. You get close, and one of them points outside. One of the scratches points outside. Or it, it, it's, like it reads out? it reads outside. Oh, it says outside the word. Whoa. In common. Uh, no, it would be a Marquesian. Wait, can either of us read I that? I can read Marquesian. Okay, great. What does that say? It says outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Uh, touch it, I guess? Maybe? maybe or Need you to make it? a, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Just trace it. Yeah, it's like gently carved into it, and it's hard to, to make out unless you're really kind of looking to see what it means. Um, and you know what it means, but you don't actually read the word, but it's just gently carved. But you can see where where it is. It's very good handwriting. It's not like a hack job like you see on a park bench or anything. It's like a quick carving. 
booty call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone left a message for someone else to receive, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, outside. So this maybe. This could be where um, Amir and Aiden, maybe one of them, you left know, a message for the other. Left a message for the other. Yeah. So they went outside. So they went outside. So from here, let's mm -hmm. let's figure out how they would have gotten outside. Maybe not through the front door. Maybe there's another way from here to get to the alley. Okay. So if I sit here, get into the headspace of, of Eden. Okay. Of Eden Caldwell. <laughs> she I'm is. In my she marriage. is an upper cruster. <laughs> <laughs> she's unhappy in her marriage. Okay. She. Uh, she's been trying to. She's been trying to go on a, on a diet, and so it's making her really she's cranky not all the time. Because as you get older, your metabolism slows. Yeah, she just has to accept that, but okay. she's not. She wants to stay young longer, and, and so she wants a little spice in her life. I'm so she gets the show, and she sees the note from <gasps> her man, from Amir. Someone scribbled a note on the railing. <laughs> she reads Marquis, and she can read that it's Amir telling it's her where to go. It's outside. So she okay, gets if up. I look, where'd she go? If I look to the outside. Which way is the outside? Well, there is the, off the balcony to the right, there is the entryway into the main theater uh, where most people walk in. From where you are, there is the spiral staircase that leads down. Uh, it does connect to the hallway that heads towards the back and to where the backstage area was. Back and to the left? Back <laughs> and to the left. Okay, Let's sorry. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go that way. Okay, that so, feels like it's so we're, we're gonna discreet. retrace okay. those steps as you guys are making your way there. Mm -hmm. Come on, Amir, let's go have an affair. <laughs> <laughs> you were going where? To the alley. To the alley. All right. From which direction are you coming? I was going back through the the door that we had gone through before, and I was gonna try to walk around the alley um, outside to see if I could find any okay. like grates or. Uh, entrances into the lower level, like the sewers or anything. Okay, and you're looking into the. Uh, you had described ladders and ropes going up into Correct. rafters, so I'm going to get a little bit of a running start and sort of start flea jumping my way high okay. up into the. Easy to do. Like in the time that they've been doing their searching and stuff, and uh, you all have kind of looked through the box, you've begun heading to the alley. Uh, actually, we'll get to you in just a second. You begin to head up into the. Uh, rafters and begin your process of searching around. And kind of, what are you looking for? Give me a little bit of light up here. Oh, um, sh sure. It's not going to hang out very long if I'm not around it, but. Yeah, just need a minute, I think. Um, I'm going to look for. Um, is there any kind of platforms or like catwalks like there would be in some theaters? Uh, there is. There is what looks to be two different catwalks that go across the open stage above. Uh, you can see a number of ropes that are tied across them. You can see where the trapeze uh, swings are currently kind of held off to the side and latched to the edge with hooks. Um, and all manner of various, you know, slidable ropes and sandbags and the general theater arrangement. Okay, so I'm just going to. I'll scan the catwalks for any, anything odd. I don't think I'll find anything, but I, I still will. But. I'll also look for any kind of like trap doors in the the ceiling of the theater that lead up and out. Good call. Go ahead and make a perception check or investigation. Uh, that is 17. 17. You kind of glance about, you don't see anything that looks out of the ordinary necessarily that would pertain to the the narrative that you're pursuing currently in this. You do see there is one wooden ladder that descends on the far end of the catwalk that goes up to a hatch. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to, I'm good. And then I just sort of jog over to it and start climbing. Okay, start climbing up. All right. It slams over with a little bit of, an, of a sound, and kind of shake for a second, but you can look up and you can see the stars, the sky above. <laughs> I'm up on the roof. You are on the roof. And I'm just going to look at the the streets and, and get the lay of the land from up here and watch for Imogen to appear because I know where she's going. And I'm just going to I'm just going to perch up here. Okay. And keep an eye. Got it. All right, and you are heading out to the alley. Okay. So, the go to the door that exits into the alley. Step out into the space. It's about 20 feet across from side to side with a kind of divot in the road. We are looking out, it heads to the right, and then you can see it kind of curves out of sight that direction, and then to the left, a little bit closer, since you're not, you know, you're kind of more to, if you're looking to the theater from the front door onward, you're a little bit to the left-hand side of uh, 
from that perspective. And that curves maybe about 15 feet or so to your left around to the alleyway that way. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, uh, it all seems very private. Is seems there... fairly, it seems fairly private. I mean, it's, it's, it looks like there's just kind of like a square alley. From what you can see right now, you just have visual on, on one portion like of it. Two sides. But it kind of curves off and then kind of flanks the two sides of the theater before connecting with the open road. Are there any areas that have like stacked crates uh, leaning up against the wall or anything like that? It's like small end. Uh, are you, which way are you glancing? I'll look to the right first. Okay. So you look to the right and you kind of walk down a little bit and look over, make a perception check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Glancing down that way and taking a few steps in that direction, you can see there are like mm -hmm. some small, long rotted crates that have probably just been left to fall apart, splintered wood and bits of rusted iron. Um, but other than that, nothing that would be like sizably uh, barricade of any means. Um, are there any like uh, sewer grates on the ground or anything? Mm -mm. The sewage system here doesn't operate like a you know, some other standard cities, since it's all kind of runs almost like from, a uh, from the building. Uh, yeah, from 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 in, into the spire itself, and not not unlike a. Uh, I hate describing it this way, a terrifying gutter system. Yeah. It all kind of runs through the spire and then is left out into the forest floor. What about if it rains? Like, where does the drainage happen there? From what you can tell, it drains on the center of the city. Uh, or I'm sorry, the center of the alley, and then drains out into the main road. And at the very edge, the lips, you can see all the all the districts that are along the outside of the spire are at a very faint angle. And there are areas where the roads kind of come to walls, and there are sections where, yeah, and when it rains heavily in this city, from a distance, there's just hundreds of tiny waterfalls That's pouring so down cool. the sides of each spire. That's really fucking cool. Mixed with shit. <laughs> <laughs> So Those are in, interior, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, in that case, I will check the other direction and okay. look for. Kind of glance over there, and you can see immediately as you come around the corner, the alley continues to the street, but there is a secondary alley that offshoots and kind of heads inward, like a slightly smaller alley. It goes about 60, 80 feet back and then comes to a, a cul de sac end. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to send a message to Laudna. I found a dead end here in this alleyway. Mm. Could be something. Mm. Sounds promising. Uh, I'll light up my orbs and walk down that direction. Okay. Ashton, mm -hmm. let's get out of the shitter, head to the alley. Fuck yes. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm down in the orchestra pit, mm -hmm. creeping, sneaking, looking for stuff. I've got my um, scimitar out and kind of trying to see if I see anything. Okay. Glancing around in the pit here, you can see there are a number of chairs that are kind of just pushed off to the sides. It's not a vast orchestra pit. It can comfortably fit maybe six people mm. um, and can uncomfortably fit 10, uh, depending on how much they're being paid and how much they need the money. <laughs> but there is an initial glance, no sort of trap door hidden uh, exit that goes uh, under the stage. And you remember when you sat down for the performance, the performers actually entered from another space and then stepped into the pit and oh. then sat down there. So they didn't emerge from underneath the stage or anything. Okay. You kind of glancing around and getting a few, if you want to make an uh, investigation or perception check to look for any specific details. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's creep around. Are there still like instruments and stuff around or is it pretty cleared out? No, the instruments were taken by taken the, by the by musicians, the yeah. Okay. Nah, poo poo. Uh, <laughs> eight. Oh, eight. Shit. Give it a pretty thorough sweep and you hear this heavy sound, this kind of up above, and you glance up and you can see up in the rafters, just past the, where the curtain is, you can just see that the shape of Orem kind of stopping for a second before climbing up onto the roof and vanishing from sight. I'm going to look around. I'm pretty confident I didn't see anything. And I'm going to, uh, I'll just hoist myself up onto the stage. Okay. And uh, I think I'm going to make my way up to. Make my way up to Orm. Making your way up. All right. You head over, find the ladder quickly, and begin climbing up into the rafter and kind of following the suit from that point. All right, so you head down the alleyway, uh, lights out. Mm -hmm. You're walking, and as you're approaching, you see there's refuse and you know uh, piles of rubble and, and building materials that have just kind of been left there. Some look fresher than others. Um, the alley in front of you is immaculate. 
Like for all, everything else looks very messy in this space here. There's uh, just just the initial glance as you begin to enter it. Like it looks very clean. I'm gonna stop where I am and just um, open up my mind and see if I can feel anybody around me, hear any thoughts like close by. Okay, are you using the open mind ability as opposed to the spell? Okay. Sam. Um, let me see here. This would be. Imogen's over there. Looking can see her doing her thing. Oh, yeah. That's so cool from up here. <laughs> you do sense a presence. A mind, though. <clears throat> from where you stand, you're not certain where it is. There's just something. And you're not picking up any. Anything specific. It's like it's just static almost. You're not certain how to even interpret it. And I've never sensed anything like that before. No. But you I'm, know. I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go down this way without Okay. Without Laudna. Okay. Uh Laudna? Mm-hmm. Where are you in We're heading that we're heading that direction. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, right around this time, uh, you both step out into the alley. You can see now like, the paint pink glow to the left where Imogen has kind of stepped off to this side alley, and right about that time, Ashton and uh, Laudna catch up to you. Oh, impeccably clean alley. What? Oh. There's something weird. Who keeps an alley this clean? Especially since the janitor's been gone for weeks now. It's very romantic. Oh. Maybe? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm. I mean, what's what's Eden thinking right now? <laughs> oh, Amir, my husband is just such a bore, and I need some sex. <laughs> it's, it's all about the sex with her. I don't know. I mean, you should don't get into acting. Oh my god! Oh, oh really? So well done. I'm so convinced. Well, oh, thank you. I've been really trying to get in the mindset. <sighs> okay. I mean, this you is are a Caldwell, clean. right? So you you want more I am than Caldwell. <laughs> Okay, let's look it. Let's look at this clean alleyway. All right. Uh, what's going on, Imogen? What did you find? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously seeing the same thing you guys are, but I can hear something. It's just, I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem normal. You can hear something? You know, like thoughts. Yeah. Can't you do it too? I can. I do you need help doing it? No, I'm You're just, so I mean, you it. can. See what you feel, like maybe you can make it out. All right, I will cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. So we're in like a, it's it's like a, like a dead end <clears throat> thing, It's a dead ended alley. That like, a co- like a cul-de-sac. I'm gonna cast Detect Thoughts and see if yeah. I can hear or sense anything more than she can. Just some odd static, not unlike you. Like, you don't know if it's from a creature. You know, you don't, you, there's just a, a there's just a, a presence that's odd. We gotta find the source. Yeah. All right, let's what do What do we see in where's, front of us? It's where's just, Orem? So where's you, Dorian? You see about, at uh, which point you guys have kind of met up now on the roof. Right at the lip, yeah. looking down, watching yeah. this performance from above. Okay. What do you think they're talking about? Ah, uh, definitely cracking the case. Oh, you think they've got it figured out? Uh, probably close. Yeah, probably. I look up. I'm gonna give a quick look in every direction uh, for any creepy creepers or uh, strangers. Perception check. We're coming down. Dang. 16. 16. Nothing catches your eye. I mean, I could probably hop my way down, but is it easy for you to get us there? I mean, I suppose, yeah. Would you rather hop, or we could, once a day, I can. Oh, no, save it. Okay, I think I, yeah, just in case something yeah. happens. <laughs> How high up, high up are we? <laughs> uh, this, uh, it's almost two and a half stories up oh, from the that. roof here, uh, for, the, for the full height of the theater. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a two-story building, but some of the stories are extended just for the, to house the interior of the theater itself, but, so you're looking at about 25, 30 feet to the floor. I think you could make it. I would probably twist an ankle. Uh, I'll go with you. We'll be down in a minute. Don't go anywhere. What you see in this alley before you is about 
70, 80 feet, it just kind of comes to an end. Just You can see there's the, the stone building walls, and there's the cul-de-sac end where the drain kind of comes to an end, the little divot in the in the alley, but it's clean. That's it. There's not really. There might be some secret, some secret hideies. Yeah, let's look around for secret hideies. Hollow areas in the walls or False the ground. Stones. Touch the, touch the wall. I'm gonna go to the okay. very end of it. You're gonna go to the very end? Yes. Okay. Come on with You're gonna right. roll an investigation check. Is it like a warmer, colder sort of thing? Does the static get want. louder if I go to a certain I'll, area? I'll roll with you. Uh, right. Get to that in just Why a second. Roll better than I did. Uh, I did. I rolled a sixteen. As I, I rolled say. a six. No. All right. <laughs> okay. So you both have like head to the edge. The both of you are inspecting the sides. Yeah. I'm just stepping back and sort of scanning the area to see if I see anything with the wrong color or shading. Okay. Just anywhere in the gutter. Okay. As you all kind of move forward, uh, imagine you kind of step, and with your mind still open, the static gets a little louder as you begin to step deeper in the alley, and kind of flex your eyes for a second and glance up as you see. Uh, Ashton and Imogen both kind of inspecting the far back wall, and as they're inspecting it, you see the, the striations of the stone on the wall back split, <gasps> where an eye <gasps> appears in the what? space. Another section opens up slightly where you can see jagged points within and tendrils. <gasps> and that's where we're going to go to break. Oh! Are you <laughs> it's just a fucking wall that's been sucking people. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's a mimic wall. It's the deathbed that eats people. It's, it's the death wall. The wall that eats people. Wow. So welcome back and pick up there in just a minute. Oh. Uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. That's ah. Hey critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Glorious. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Can you put donuts in this? Only one way to find out. These holidays, you know, they're just around the corner. You need this? You probably need this. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. Goodness, it's overpowering. It's so cute, I can't handle it. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Now go live to a special address from the president. Hey dweebs, now's your president? I've been kinda killing it lately. I gave global warming an atomic wedgie, I balanced the budget by selling my paw collection, and I saved the Queen of England from that octopus. But my kickassery is far from done. According to this chart that I made, an estimated 35% of you are still a bunch of nasty goobers. But don't worry, I have a plan. Operation Gag Me with a Spoon. It's easy sleazy. According to the study that I wrote, if every citizen subscribed to Critical Role on Twitch, we could reduce maximum goobage by a metric buttload. Twitch is the only place where you'll get a live and moderated chat and 
If you subscribe to Critical Role, you instantly get access to all their shows as soon as the live broadcast ends. So, while you're oogling these Critical Role dorks with their sick goof em ups and their nutty voices, think of me, Gail, the current president of whatever. Now I gotta go make a fresh batch of spitballs, but I guess I have some time for your boring questions. You! Gail, is it true that if you subscribe to Critical Role through Prime Gaming, you have to resubscribe every month? Uh, yeah. I do it right after my monthly prank call to pee on O'Brien. Next question! Does Critical Role have exclusive emotes for their subscribers? Uh, do we? Of course they do. I like the Hello Bees one because bees are cool. I replace my whole security detail with a bunch of bees that think I'm their queen. Last question. Yeah, with all due respect, is Operation Gag Me with a Spoon a real policy or are you mad goofing? <gasps> Am I mad goofing? What, do you see me scarfing milk duds while doodling ding-dongs on the Sky Mall catalog? Listen, I know I'm new to this and I admit that when I made the wish to be the boss of everything, I did not know the witch that works at Woolworths was listening. But Faustian bargain or not, I am the president now, and I have an obligation to lead this country. So to answer your question, no, I am not mad goofing. Security, take him out. <laughs> Later, Chuck Rutgers.
And welcome back. So, jumping into this scenario, oh, yeah. <laughs> let me go ahead and get the battle map ready. Yeah. It's been so long since we were on He announced, oh, he announced it, there, though. He announced it, no. so I know it's going to be good. <laughs> boom, 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 Quick, guys. Boom, boom. Oh, they my said goodness stuff. gracious. <laughs> this maybe is uh, what they want me to show. Oh. <laughs> Something, just the packaging is, you know, super great. Right. They got this. That's cool. <laughs> so. Well. Oh, yeah. oh, it's kind of hard. Wait. Oh, oh, there's the alley. Like, yeah, you use, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a roper? No, oh. it is Ladna oh, and Ashton right there. Yeah, that's that's making fun of it. I can't see. Yeah, you yeah, you got to look on the screen. You gotta so just okay, go. okay. Shift this yeah. a bit out of the way. Oh, look on the yeah, screen yeah. if you want to. Does that help? Yeah, and the other. Yeah. There you go. No. <laughs> that's fine. We're going to get rid of the screen. We're going to get I can leave it for the screen. No, 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 no. I'm just going to get rid of the screen. I'm going to get rid of the screen. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, we can see it. Perfect. There we go. Here, look over here. Hey, I'm so glad we painted it. I think I should have removed it. And then we have Fern checking the walls on this side. Licking the walls. As well as. Lana, you were back here a bit. <laughs> yes, I am. Back Sorry, it's there. Lana, you're there. Sorry, Imogen, you're right there. Chairs and chairs. Fresh cut grass. I, I said I had stepped back to see colors and stuff, so Correct. I'm probably at the yeah, right at the threshold to the threshold. To the, and just <laughs> joining at the back of the threshold would be Orem mm -hmm. and Dorian, right there. So, because this creature was unseen in its Direction yeah. and the attack was sudden. It does get a surprise round. In which case, it is going to attack twice with its pseudopods. One against you. That is a natural one. Oh. Whoa! Oof. You like it? It swings out towards. Fuck. <laughs> you glance up and just now notice right above you the wall itself is shifting and quivering, and you can see the mouth is opening. I got it right this time. Quiver and shift. Yep. And that is going to be a an eighteen against you, Lagna. Mm, yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, wait, an eighteen? Yeah. No. Okay. Because AC meets, right? Yeah. No. Okay. I'll take it. Well. The pseudopod whips out and slams into you like a hammer, and you're like, Bah! But you're adhered to it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, Stick fingers. Yeah, kind of. You take 11 points of piercing damage. Yikes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. So this is the wrong one, I'm sorry, that's my bad. You take 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> right Completely and different for you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Grappled. Yeah. Oh um, boy. Yeah. As you are currently held by it. Do you think walls feel fear? Probably not. Uh, mm. Well, they do get nails well, nailed into the Maybe like earthquakes and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's oh yeah. True. Afraid of earthquakes. Yeah. And then it is going to head in. It missed you with a pseudopod. It's going to try and bite you. That is going to be a twenty-four to hit. Real fun time back. Yeah. That hits. Hey, yeah. Jeez. You take. Close enough to be. Fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck off. Fourteen points? Plus eleven points of acid damage. Whoa! Whoa. What is happening? As, as the mouth Don't the chomps mouth. into you and you feel your shoulder and almost your neck so get completely consumed. You try and pull yourself out, and as you pull your arm out, you feel the teeth breaking away, and you watch as the teeth shatter and then more form behind it from where it was. And so as you pull away, you're like, that kind of hurt. And then the, the saliva from the creature is now burning I into hurt my your ass. Flesh. That really hurt. So, um, so I, now I'd like everyone to roll in. Oh, oh my feet of me? They are, but you do not have a reaction because this is a surprise round. Damn. Damn. We have no reactions. Damn. That's what I was Correct. about to ask. And, and, and when, me. when Laudna took her her bludgeoning damage, there was no acid from this, the whippies. Correct. Okay, just the mouth. Just the mouth. Okay. All right. Now everyone, please roll initiative for me, please. Oh, let's do a big one. Let's do this big one. Nope. Nope. Yeah, duty poo poo. No. Yep, that's the end. Two, 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 two,
Twenty to fifteen. Still Okay. Fifteen to ten. Nine. Nine. Thir- Thirteen. Twelve. Twelve. What's your dexterity, by the way? Sixteen. Okay, there we go. What's your dex? Uh, two, uh, fourteen. And you go. Okay. So and it's it's or, the order it's over way. here. Yeah. Oh, that's no. okay. kind of trippy. Easy. Is it? Wow. Wow. All right. Wow. You now see the semblance of the wall at the end of the hallway is shifting away and bending, and there is actually more alley behind it. This creature had positioned itself near the edge and had prematurely become the end of the alleyway. You see edges of the wall are starting to curve away and peel as it begins to oh. Oh, no. slither. You see it's actually able to shift slowly in your direction, but the top of the round goes to Ashton with Orm on deck. What are you doing? I am raging. Help. Um, that is not going to be a very helpful rage. Um, um, uh, we're on the gravity uh, train. Little de- decay, which is not really useful here. Not in this sense of circumstance. No. Uh, that's okay. And I am going to, I assume that there's a tongue uh, between, or like a thing uh, between Ladna and the mouth that's just kind of connecting right now, like a uh, like a pseudopod that's, that's lashed onto her and yeah. kind of pulls her close, but she's now she's right next to it. Like they're they're adjacent. Oh, yeah. so uh, where am I on the overview? I'm so sorry. sorry. You are right there. Yeah. I'm t- okay. So we've so got. You're, you're about ten feet from Ladna. Okay. I am going to try and go over and smash that tongue. I'm going to walk <laughs> over and give it a good good whack and see what happens. Okay. So are you just doing any damage to the creature, or are you trying to free her from grab? Trying to free her. Got you. Okay. Grab Go ahead and, and make an attack with disadvantage. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. Nope. That was a natural one. Oh. Yeah, that's a miss. So I'm going to back actually up. Go and swing, and you hit it, and it gets stuck to it. And you're like trying to pull it away, and you have to put a foot up to try and pry it away, and you pull it away, but now your foot's stuck. And you look over at Ladna, and it eventually managed to tear your foot free, but your turn is wasted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up a bit then. Gonna back up a bit? Yeah. How far back? Like uh, 10 feet, I guess, in the corner. Sticky. Okay. It's gonna take its reaction oh. to hit you Short. with the pseudopod. Uh, it's gonna be a. Twelve to hit. Nope. So it whips out towards you, and you duck just out of the way as it hits the wall. And you can see where it hits some of the stonework next to you cracks, and the stones that it impact pull away. And now the part of its tendrils, like covered in broken stone and brick. Um, all right, is that your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. All right, Orem, you're up with Imogen on deck. Orem, okay. you are back here. Having a little trouble seeing the battlefield, but I think if I pull run away, on a di- that doesn't help. If I run on a diagonal towards. Burn, can I get within about like 20 feet of it? Uh, Dangle of, of Fern? If I can just get to her left. To your right. 20, you can get there. Is that within 20 feet of yeah. Monster? That is within 20 feet. Okay, yeah. so I, I run, I grab a dagger out from the back of my boot and run uh, and get in front of Fern. And does it have eyes or is it all mouth? It has kind of one central eye right now that you can kind of see that's kind of peering out somewhat, and then it vanishes, but it's mostly this massive mouth now that's just So I shout, hey! And I chuck the dagger and aim for the eye, and I'm going to make a uh, goading attack. All righty. Uh, that hits. That's a 23 to hit. That definitely hits. So damage first. Just eight, oh no, eight damage plus the superiority die. 10, and it has to make a wisdom save. All right, so how much damage was that? Eight, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 damage 10. to it. And a wisdom save. Uh, that is a 12. So it fails. Any attack on anybody except for me is a disadvantage. You got it. That's Sounds good. Well, awesome. Yeah. That finishes your turn, Orm? That's it. All right, that brings us to Imogen with Fern on deck. <clears throat> Can I build off of what Orem just did, and as I see him fling the dagger mm-hmm. at the eye, I'm gonna, at the same time, try to cast blindness on the on the Ooh, eye. Cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Not a bad day, that wall. All right. That, and it's a... 14 con- save, con save. Con save? 
14 exactly. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Good call, though, on that one. Yeah. So you go ahead and try, and you watch as you're about to release the spell towards an eye, and you watch as the eye, the the blade, or the, the, the attack that, that Orm completes, impacts it, and you see it, the eye close up, the spell doesn't impact, and a secondary eye kind of like opens up further up the wall and then vanishes again into the weird, shifting flesh like stonework. Are you going to stay put or would you like to move? I'm going to back up a bit, yeah. Okay. How far back? Um, just behind FCG. You got it. All right. Behind me. Finishing up, Fern, you're on deck with Dor. Oh, sorry, Fern, you're up with Dory on deck. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put my hand up and shoot. Scorching rays. Okay. At this thing, at this wall. It's three, three Go shots. Three attacks. Yeah. I'm gonna use my um, first one. Does not hit. My bonus action to convert some sorcery points into a spell. You got it. Oh. What did you roll for the first time? Uh, ten. Ten misses, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, that would be twenty. That does 20. hit. Okay. Go for a third one. Natural one. Oh! So one hits. But one does hit, so that's 2d6. You can go ahead and roll for that. 2d6 fire damage against it. Ooh, okay. Um, eight points of damage. Eight points of fire damage to it. So you lob one and it kind of just scatters off the side of the wall. Second one you throw, the mouth. Third one you try and throw, but as you release it, you release it too late and just hits the ground in front of you. Ah! The flames cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as it hits, you know, Mister's on your shoulder and she goes, ah! Ah! I know! Ah! I'll get uh, you in the game in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that finishes your turn. Or you want to move or stay put? Yeah, I'm going to back up a little bit. How far I can are you going to just kind of back up around that corner. Around there? Yeah. You got it. Okay. Uh, that brings us to yeah, Dorian's go. Yeah. Cool. Uh, how f I, I can't see around the corner. How far is Laudna from the creature? She's grappled, right? Laudna is right up against it. Uh, help. help! 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 Man, that's tough. Yep, right up on the. Want to give me? Give you a. I know this is a. It's okay. The camera placement I thought would be more yeah, helpful yeah, 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 on this yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, no, we actually love it. Bonk. Um. Can we get an overhead? Hey! Hey, there Zoom we go. In. Zoom yeah. in, enhance. 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 <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is there any point that I could aim at around the creature that's within a 10-foot sphere that wouldn't also hit Laudna? Unfortunately, no. No, it's that, the alley's that tight? It's a pretty tight alley, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, you could, you could hit like right next to it here in a 10-foot sphere. That explodes outward and maybe dodge, but then you have to go like in the far back corner to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Which is doable. Oh, I'm gonna run right in. I'm gonna. Oh, are, um, how far am I from the creature? You are about thirty-five feet from it. Thirty-five feet. <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> I can't do a lot. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I will. Um, <laughs> I will run over. I will. I'll go to fresh cut grass, actually. Hi. And uh, I'm smiley gonna, day to you. Hi, smiley, <laughs> smiley day to you too. Uh, <laughs> I've got a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of healing, and I'm going to uh, give them bardic inspiration. Who to me? Bonus action first to you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, and then I am going to. I'm going to run up behind. Orum, is that who's? It's so hard. Yep, Orum's right Run there. Run up behind Horm, and then I'll hold my action, I think. What are you holding? Hold me Horm. I know. Horum. Uh. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Or is that Horum's thing? <laughs> Where's that gnome? I guess it's an attack, I guess. Wow. All, right. All right, so you're holding an attack for when something comes into reach? Yes, I think so. Yeah, sort of like okay. a defensive position. And okay. That, okay, okay. You got it. All right, that finishes your turn. It is now the creature's turn. God damn it. <laughs> kind of slithers upward into the space, kind of holding Laudna there as it, the wall <laughs> moves forward. Travis is ruining the game. I know. Oh no. Stop it, Travis. Travis is. <laughs> 
<laughs> its pseudopods kind of pull back into its body. God. The mouth closed. You hear. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. And you watch near the mouth, it begins to swell. The mouth oh, opens right, and sets forward up. this large globule of kind of greenish clear liquid right that explodes a little ways in front of it, just no. past you. I, yep. I need Orem, Dorian, and Ashton to make a dexterity save. I have advantage on dexterity. Yeah, what's two? Let's go, Keyleth, die. Huh? Nope. Oh, fuck. Are you not in it? Uh, no, I'm, I've got to be in it, right? Am I in it or no? Uh, no, it is oh. right over there. Oh, oh, this is a short oh. radius. Oh, it's like a aimed globule. I get, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bleh. Okay. Cool. Seventeen. Seventeen. You take fourteen points of acid damage. Oh. What the living fuck? Whoa. Okay. Nine. You take twenty. Uh, sorry, twenty-eight, 28 points of acid damage. Oh my, oh my god. fucking god. Six. Six. You take. 28 points of acid damage. Uh, what the? I'll, I'll take seven points of know. Ashton's damage. <laughs> okay. Right? Mm-hmm. I will absorb, I will absorb, ah! Seven oh points. I, I would give anybody, oh, oh my god. Well, I mean, that might. Uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> and keeps kind of shifting forward, its tendrils now emerging from the front and its biting mouth. <laughs> That finishes its turn. I don't turn. mind if I can do psychic damage to it. Ladna, you're, you're up with fresh cut grass on deck. I am up. Who's got a better AC? Wow, all right. I don't quite know what's going on. Um, fuck me. I'll, I'll, bonus action form of dread. Okay. To Primarily get the temporary hit points here. Cool, 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 cool. Shit, shit, roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> Four of dread five. kind of comes up. <laughs> so trapped. Form of discomfort. Form of discomfort. <laughs> Holy shit! This thing has done a lot of damage. Oh, we haven't done anything to it. Yeah. Nope. Uh-huh. We've done a couple hits. No. I don't know what to <laughs> do here. Do I want to this wall? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, oh wow. What you got, Lana? I will. <laughs> mm-hmm. my, um, am I near its mouth? <laughs> it's it's various oh, that's portions of its form shift around. Right now, not necessarily, but you can hope to. All right. I guess I'll just Eldritch Blast it and see what happens. Okay, you have disadvantage on the strike because you are. Come on, Lana! I rolled a two on my disadvantage die, so probably. You go to go ahead and release the blast, and as you do, it's shifting forward and tugs you with its adhesive tendril that's dragging you behind it, and in doing so, the blast goes wide and hits near a window up above, which the shutters close at the impact. Right. All right, help! (laughs) <laughs> Finishing Lod this turn. Fresh cut grass, you're up with Ashlyn on deck. To, to put on my, to swap out my hand and at, attach my bolt thrower, was that, is that an action to do that? It would be an action to do that, Okay. Yeah. It's not advanced. I will spend my action to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. Uh, ready to throw some bolts next time. And then as a bonus action, I know y'all are both low, but to prevent any further damage, I think I'm going to cast Shield of, not Shield of Faith, but Shield of Help on uh, on Ashton, granting them a plus two to AC. Okay. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so plus two to AC. And you are currently concentrating on that shield. And at the end of the turn, I take seven points of damage. Yes, you do. Okay. Ah! No! No, Single digit or double digit? Okay. Double digit. Did it go before Dorian or after Dorian? After. It went just after Dorian. Okay. All right. Finish it. Do you want to stay put or do you want to move? Oh, um. Boy, I think I'll tuck around. Well, oh boy, I want to stay within thirty feet of 
everybody. So, Laudna's uh, 30 feet from me now? Laudna is about 30 feet from you, yeah. And if I tucked around that corner, would I still be within 30 feet of folks? Uh, I mean, probably around that corner, just slightly, but you would not have eyes on Laudna. Which I will no, half cover. Can, can I half cover around the, the corner or not really? I think Quarter you could do that. Cover? I think you could do that. All right. So, kind of shift around to that space there? Yeah. Okay, got it. Finishing your go. Ashton, you're up, or you're on deck. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. I'm going to run in and try and uh, get you loose again. Okay. So I'm taking a, on, taking Ashton. another swing. I think I might make it a reckless attack so I don't have disadvantage anymore. You can do that, yeah, I'll allow it. Come on. Come on. Uh, that's a, because uh, I don't remember my numbers anymore, 17? 17 does hit. Yeah. 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 Oh, it is a wall. <laughs> you say yeah, that. Well, we haven't hit it but yet. I haven't hit it yet. You guys are rolling pretty um, shitty. I don't know what I'm I'm going to, fuck it, I'm just going to pump a chaos burst into this mm-hmm. in a desperate attempt to get it to work. So let's do some psychic damage and see how that goes. Um, all right. So let's, uh, da 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 Since it did not move into melee with you, you can still throw if you don't want to waste your action. Your call. Would it help the cause of any? I don't know what wouldn't at yeah, this point. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so, I'll. I'll uh, okay, so we'll run his attack and then we'll fuck. get to you. Uh, that's ten points of bludgeoning damage. Already. Tripled. And I wish <laughs> six points of psychic damage. Okay, sixteen points to it. You got it. Um, and I still have a little bit of movement, I think. Or what would I have needed to? Uh, you do have movement. Uh, can I? Grab Ladna and start booking the other direction. Uh, so as you go ahead and slam your hammer down onto the pseudopod oh. that's currently holding her, you would have to move around here to do so, since she is she. As you backed up, the creature moved forward and it's kind of between. So you had to move around 15 feet to get to her, mm-hmm. slam and destroy it. And I'll say, like with with that much damage, it, I would say it's just enough to destroy the pseudopod, which means you are not currently grappled. Um, it does take lesser damage because you were focused on setting her free than doing maximum damage to it. Um, I rolled terribly anyway. Uh, you do have, what's your speed? 30. 30, you have 15 more feet of movement, and it's, I would say, half movement to drag her away, so you could move her five feet at most. Your call. I'll, I'll t- <laughs> fucking take it. All right. Anything we can goddamn do. Mm-hmm. So you pull back to there, and we'll probably move. My hero. Working on it. No longer grapple, Vladna. <clears throat> and you are now. Okay, I, it's the only forward. way I can tell what's going on. Yeah, look at that. All right. Hmm. In a way, everybody, we all have metaphorical walls <laughs> that we put up. <laughs> if it's like, so if, it's, if you'd like me to one, remove we will things now. now. No. No. We've had if, them there visually now. No. But we, okay. If, 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 if it's possible to, to <laughs> shift her behind what? me, I would take that too. But but unfortunately now, no enough movement. All right. Yeah, this is the, the, the this is meant to, to establish the visuals, the but anything you want me to remove away for you it, have I can to take like <laughs> boom, boom, boom for yeah, I can do that. Us to see over no. on the side, but it looks so it pretty. Looks so pretty for it's the home guys, for the cool. audience yeah, at home, it looks great. This, they can this is fine. This is oh, fine. This they think just fine. You tell Between me. Between this and the and the upstairs, we got it. We got it. We got it. It's good. It's great. Okay, well, I'll finish the actions. Go, Orm. You're up with engine on deck. Orm, totally burning with acid everywhere. Uh, like we're all at the same table, like over it. But plants yeah. his hand on the wall and just kind of goes, Oof. and I'm going to use. Uh, <laughs> he poops. He poops. <laughs> Nerf food. Uh, use second. So cool. <laughs> second wind is a bonus action. You got it. So Z2. that is eleven. Good. Oh, uh, thank God. Well, hmm. and I shout out, little help here, and I'm going to step directly in front of this thing, and just start attacking it. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're. That's a natural one, which I will reroll. Uh, that's a tear. I miss. So, uh, but I'm going to action surge and go again. Okay. And that hits. That's a 19 plus stuff. Uh, this is, is a goading attack. Again. So uh, mm. that is. Oh, sorry, everybody. Uh, Come on, six. Plus low roll six plus okay twelve damage and it has to make a wisdom save again. Nice. All right, twelve damage wisdom save. Fifteen. Uh, uh, I think it just matched it. Yeah. Matches and it succeeds. Yeah, it succeeds. Okay. 
And that's it. And I'm just standing right in front of it. Oh God! As you kind of smash it and look up, shield in front, you just see the mass of it shadowing you as it begins progressively shifting forward and almost threatening to push all of you forward with it. All right. All right. Finishing orms go. Imogen, you're up with Fern on deck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look towards Laudna and see how fucked up she is, and my eyes are just gonna flash white. And I'm gonna flare up my hands and hit it with a witch bolt. Okay, level one, level two. Level two. Level two. Go ahead and roll to attack. Witch bolt. What do you use? Cocked. Ultra cocked. Super cocked. Maybe like if you didn't have Ooh. fourteen thousand. Nine. Shut up. Nineteen plus six. <laughs> that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll your two d twelve. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's my best. Ooh, right. a twelve and a six. Bad. Whoa. Hey. Nice, 18. 18 points, 18 points to Everything it. As it's shifting forward. <laughs> you see, like, as you're concentrating in the black energy and purple sparks are. <laughs> but that, that little cluster where it's emanating is just focused and holding. Yes. You got it. Yes, nice. Lock All right. on. Staying put? Uh, how Wiper far on. can I get from it? I think I have to stay within 30 Locked feet. On. So I'll stay within 30 feet. Okay. Am I within 30 you feet? You'd be a little closer to get within I would have stepped up then. There yeah, you go. I'll we'll put you there. And I'll stay right there. All right, you got it. All Imagine, right. no! <laughs> Finishing your go, that brings us to Firm with Dorian on deck. Okay. What size creature is this? This is a large. Great. Okay, You'll so. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my hand out and I'm going to cast telekinesis with my stonky's ring. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's a string. But that's good. The stomp. Make an ability check. Make an ability check. The creature's strength check. So it's my. Still supported. Yeah. Uh-oh. You've broken that. <laughs> I've broken the DM. Proof just you can target only it. objects that aren't being worn or carried. You cannot target a creature. Oh. This is a creature you can try to move. But isn't he a, a wall? huge or smaller creature? So Make an ability stunky. check with your spell casting ability contested by the that, creature's That strength. is the spell telekinesis, correct? But the item Stonky's Ring says you can cast the spell telekinesis at will, but you can target only objects that aren't being worn. <gasps> this is what we had in EXU. Right. Yeah. Okay, an addendum, an addendum. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay that okay. is the balance. Otherwise, that would be no, no. a fifth level spell yeah, at well. That would be so will, crazy. Be super okay. powerful. I still gotta. That's all good. Okay. It's all good. So, what I'm gonna do then? Mm. Curse you, Stonky. <laughs> Whoever you are. We trust you. Yes. We trust you, Stonky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a little wild. Let like me just, wild. let like me wild. just, Ooh. let me just, just double check on this. Stonky bells. Stonky bells. Stonky bells. Okay, that was. Let me just figure she's something out real quick. She's improvising. Guys. I'm improvising. I'm improvising. Okay, you're you know what? Space. So really cute. back off, Laura. Oh, thank Scare you. Give her some just, space. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna peek under my cape. Ooh. Hey, Mister. <gasps> Are you ready to hop in? <gasps> oh, get in there. Okay, as an action. You can can see the flame in the back of the the chest, like burning and ready to go. Oh, he's getting ready. Okay. (laughs) Uh, 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 uh. (laughs) So, nope, that's not wild shape. That would be summon wildfire spirit. Yes, indeed. So sorry, I. I, Okay. It's okay, you had a plan. I had a plan, it didn't work. That's okay. So I'm improvising here. All right. right. So, I'm going to take. I'm going to have him throw a flame seed. All right. So, so as an action, as right. an action, you summon him. Is that just the action you can spend when using wild shape features? Or something? Sorry. That's okay. No, it, it helps if you read out loud, but in a mumbly way that no one can understand. <laughs> 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 uh, so I'm gonna summon him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's great is when you're reading like that, you're not actually reading. Nope. You're just no, like, you're just going, I swear I'm doing scared. something. No, that's what was happening. I was doing that, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, I'm not taking in any information right now. What am I doing? Okay. What would you like me to? Hear? I'm just 
All right. <laughs> so I would like him to get, you know, just a little bit in front of me. Up there? Yep. Okay. And um, he's just going to take his <laughs> flame seed mm-hmm. and he's going to chuck it into the mouth of the, the eyeball of the. Is it a bonus action wall. for you to tell him to float the flame seed? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I, just I, just I know. I might only be able to command. Okay, in combat, wildfire spirit shares your initiative count. Great, but it takes its turn immediately after yours. Okay, doesn't matter. The only action it takes on its turn is the dodge action, unless you take a bonus ac- action on your turn to command. It. There, so you can do oh, yeah. it. Okay, break, 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 break. Yes, you actually create it and then bonus action to give it. He's going to throw a flame seed. All right, so you watch as Mister leaps off of her shoulder. As it does, you watch the you watch this this tiny monkey that at this point. Point. Yeah. Uh, aside from from those who traveled here with Fern, has been just this little furry monkey that stays like hidden in her hair and underneath the cloak, and occasionally emerges and screams. Now you watch as it leaps off of the shoulders. Suddenly, it bursts into flames around it, and is now this like elemental burning monkey on the ground that ah! reaches Boy. back, grabs a chunk of monkey flame, oh. and. Flames ah! Throws it over at this giant mouth-covered wall. Go ahead and roll an attack for him. Okay. That's unsanitary. Flame and Duke. Well, Just gonna yep. throw shit at the wall. Oh, oh see what's wow. Oh, you see what's this? Oh my god. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. Come on, mister. Oh, oh lame! That's a so eight. Lame. Eight misses. Oh, why can't we hit this wall? <laughs> this is what? going a very journey. poorly. What is this? We are yeah. Yeah. This is a journey. What's more stationary than a wall? <laughs> <laughs> a door. The the ground. Ground. Oh yeah. The secret enemy. Yep. The next enemy is the ground. We're so, just not going to be able to hit it. <laughs> it does manage to hit the wall, but it. This one unfortunately was not charged with the elemental fire and is literally just a smear of dookie. Oh. Just dookie. Okay, I give him a little scratch on his head. It's okay, it's okay. You'll get it next time. We'll kill something later. Um, as a bonus action, can I bring to life my staff? You used your bonus action to let him strike. That's what I just did? Never mind, I'm all stay. Are you going to stay there? Yes. Okay, you got it. Finishing your turn, Fern. Dorian, you are up. Oh, I got it. That was something else. We're telling you, didn't throw your axe last time if you wanted to, so go ahead and throw it now if you want to before your turn. Yeah, yeah, I think after I. <laughs> I see Mr. Fail and I'm like, I'll try to throw something, sure. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's uh, 18. 18 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Sweet. Hit that wall. Uh, 2D or. Uh, oh, 1D6 plus 3. Wall. Let's go faster. <laughs> Not great, but okay. It's a 5. 5 damage? Yes. You got it. And no, it's more than the, most the of us have done. <laughs> and it's like stuck in the wall now. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm feeling alright about myself. Uh, all I want to do is go help Orm, but I can't because I'm fucked. Uh, I am going to. I'm going to run uh, around. Oh, that's so cowardly. I'm going to run around the corner uh, over by Fern, and I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh, fuck, this sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, sucks so bad. Why is DD so real? Oh, man? it sucks. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm so hurt. I'm gonna cast level two cure wounds on myself. Oh, you're sad. Yeah. Do it. I'm gonna do it, man. So, so, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so hurt. Uh, it's uh, eight plus three, uh, eleven. That's good. That's Kill yourself good. for eleven. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. A little bit of respite there. Yeah. Not a problem. All right. uh, and uh, that'll that'll end my turn. All right. It is now the wall's turn. Right. Let's first see. It does get its spit back. Oh, oh boy! That's not for anyone. Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh oh! Who's boy, over there? It's, it's gonna hork some loot. It goes. I wonder how far I can shoot. It's right, right there. It goes. <laughs> Under the ground, right in front of it. Splatters oh, out. No. I need Ladna, Ashton, and. Uh, or him to go ahead and roll a dexterity save. Dex saves. Yep. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Aren't you dead? Well, where are you? That was a it's lot very, of dice I just heard very, roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. Agree. So we are not doing that. You guys that. save some no. cure wounds. 16, what are you? How many points are you guys at? And you've got bonus. No, no, I do have, draw, I do have ten hit points. Twenty. Twenty. So you take. Uh, 11 points of acid damage. Okay. Ooh. Also 20. Okay. Also 20, 11 points of acid damage. 12. 12, you take 23 20. points of acid damage. Uh, I, 
Um, Are you alive? Uh, Just grab the deck girl. I. I would take half of that, but I'm not allowed to, right, Matt? Only allowed to take up to. Only attacks, right? Or no, 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 no. You said it was limited oh, no, no. to a certain number of value. Well, no, you can, you can, you can prevent any number of value, but you only get temporary hit points equal to your level plus your wisdom modifier. Oh, okay. is that right? Yeah, that's how I have it written now. Are uh, you? Can you do that? Are you good though? You? <clears throat> okay. I'll take half of that shot. Okay. All right. Right. Is that yeah. how it works? Yep. Yeah. So I Perfect. will take the. So hit points, but I can't dish out that many hit points. Well, she takes half damage, uh -huh. and then you up to, and it should say in the ability, uh, up to, I think it's your cleric level plus your wisdom modifier. Which is seven. seven. So you get seven temporary hit points. So I only take seven of her hit points? Or I take 11 of her hit points? She takes Jesus. half damage from the strike. Okay. So I, okay. So you take so, half damage from that. So I get 11 hit points back. Correct. And I take seven temporary hit you points. You take seven temporary hit points. You okay. cannot get higher than seven. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Oh, okay. Keep me from rolling death saves. <sighs> See, oh. oh, so you get hit point. You get. I, I'm. I am currently okay, wait, possibly you know, suffering the effects. We'll find out. I've absorbed some out, damage. But we'll so see what happens. Okay. To eleven. Half damage, essentially. Correct. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me just make sure this is right. Hang on, hang on. Let me reset my shit. It went from 23 damage I know, to I know, 11. But I had temporary hit points and it was weird. So I'm going to take 11 damage. Right, okay. So yeah. I have 10 hit points. Okay. All go. right, I have 10 hit points. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You have seven temporary hit points <laughs> that are just kind of like festering around you, waiting to either protect you or harm you. All right. That is your reaction. Uh, with that, the creature's going to go ahead. Can't really push forward with you in the way. I mean, it can. I'll say, I'll say for the size against your size, particularly being a small creature, go ahead and make a strength uh, saving throw for That'll me. Go well. Uh, that's a two plus uh, two, so that's a four. As it begins to push forward, it you try and get your shield in the way mm -hmm. and hit it and hold your ground, and you feel your feet just. <laughs> Sliding yeah. against it, and so it's going to push you forward as it goes. Are we all on top of it again, or? Or is it leaving you guys behind? Uh, it leaves Laudna's uh, melee space, but it's still within yours. You're not currently attached to it because it has not struck you with any of its pseudopods. It's just used the last couple rounds to blast the ground with its acidic spittle. Uh, but that finishes its turn. You all of you begin to see the tendrils like. <laughs> And you see Orm being pushed back, shield in front, kind of partially adhered to the front of it. And there's a little part of you that worries you're not going to be able to pull yourself free of it now that you've met it, but it. you haven't reached that point yet. Love it. Uh, finishing its turn is now Laudna's go with fresh cut grass on her. All right, it's left my melee range, so can I move back? You can. I'm going to get him back to the back of the alley. <laughs> <laughs> And now, kind of fully embracing my form of dread, you can see. You now see. realize that pseudopods have a reach of 15 feet. Oh. So what? So so what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Meaning, if you want to completely leave that reach, it will get one attack opportunity on you with a pseudopod. God. Up to you if you want to risk it. No. 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 Well, those no. things hit really no. hard. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. want to move back away from it. I right. want to move back, but I don't want to leave it. That's You can move five feet uh, and stay within the reach of its pseudopod. Otherwise, it'll still strike you on the way out. Fuck. 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 I don't want to die or get grappled. All right, I'm gonna stay here. Hex. Hex it. You got it. Yeah. Without issue. My bonus action, and then Eldritch Blast. Eldritch so I'm just board. going to oh. Come like on. take the shadows from around me and gather them up in the energy. I'm gonna blast it down on top of its head. Okay. Ooh, fuck me sideways. Why? Why? Thirteen. Thirteen? Hmm. Thirteen just misses. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. This is going so poorly. It's not, right? Should I get rid of it? Really Have you keep using that one? It's that same one. It's so pretty. It is really pretty. Oh, pretty, pretty fucking mean. Pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> <laughs> you move around, oh, spin, some... hex it, and then as you throw the Eldritch Blast, the creature seems to almost shift with part of its Physical movement forward, and as it does, the blast misses it and just arcs off into the sky. So cool! How is it that dexterous? 
All right, let's stay damn done. Okay. Back. Your go. All right, that brings us to fresh cut grass with Ashton on the... What I'm saying is we all carry emotional walls and br- by breaking them down, we can we can become more spiritually whole. I'm melting. Sorry. Um, all right, I'll <laughs> lean out and I will fire. I will throw a bolt from my bolt thrower. Yes. Okay. And try to strike it with said bolt. Do it. A bolt. 18 plus nice. two to hit, that's that, a 20 to hit. That hits. Awesome. That's a 1d8, which is five, plus I'll pump in the seven temporary hit punts. Nice! Yes. So 12 points. Of I don't know how to do a damage to it. Points. Points. <laughs> we don't, no, you don't lose that vowels, hit you extend hit them. Hit punts. <laughs> no. There's like a burst from the impact of the harpoon, like a grapple point. As it hits, and you see the the holding of some sort of strange magical energy, just the impact as you release the temporary hit points into it. Uh, you, it is a large creature. If you wanted to, you could pull yourself to it if you wanted to. Ooh, I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. Oh no, this is the bolt thrower. This is not the. I have a lot of hands. A, a bolt thrower. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, so you just go ahead and this this is just a bolt. Yes. You hit it with that. You got it. Um, and then with my bonus action, since that was just an action action, I can cast a spell. Looking over my friends over here, um, who is dying more? <laughs> I mean, little... actually, uh, no, technically, no, actually, me. Technically, actually, actually, technically me. Actually, technically me. We're two, two away. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in single digits. We're You're both in single digits. I'm alive. Barely, almost, just barely in double, and I'm well, in I'm single. Alive. Alive. <laughs> um, I will, I will uh, throw a healing word at, at Ashton. Um, yeah, I, and let's see. Uh, it's D four plus Man. three. Three plus three, six. I'll take it. Oof. Sheesh. All right. Heal up six that way. Uh, are you staying put? Uh, oh, the wall's getting close, but I gotta stay close to all my friends. Uh, I'll stay put and just kind of rock right back around the corner again. Okay. Just shift back over to that spot. You got it. All right. It's all just. Think of this as a as a metaphorical teaching healing moment for all of us. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> All right, Ashton, you're up. Orm, you're on deck. I am. It's gonna take another. How far away am I from this thing? You're within five feet. You're like you're off to the side. It started to move past you, but it hasn't moved entirely out of your melee range. Okay, I'm just gonna take a take a fucking swing at it. See what the fuck happens. Go take a fucking it. swing. Maybe I'll actually roll decently. Hey, 18. 18. Nice. There you go. That hits. Uh, and just because everything sucks, I'm just gonna throw a chaos burst before I go unconscious. You got it. That's uh, <laughs> all right. That's cool. Don't die. What type uh, of damage? You know, I'm trying. Hmm? A fire. Fire. Good job. So let's just do. Uh, let's do. Uh, Can't always roll max damage like you did the first yeah. four episodes of this campaign. Let's do nine points of bludgeoning. <laughs> nine points of bludgeoning, <laughs> which is he was great. So upset. And. Uh, Four points of fire damage. Yes. Thirteen points of damage. All righty. Slam into with a hammer from behind. You hit, but it's a glancing blow off of what is mostly a wall, and then the flames kind of burn and streak across. But you hold the hammer back. Travis, Travis stop is it! Stop it! Travis, stop it! Travis, stop it! Travis is looking. the worst person in the world. Travis is the other wall. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and I'm, I guess I know I'm. We look distressed. Just gonna <laughs> back up another five feet. I'm, I'm just gonna. Try and like just be another. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get some distance from everybody, oh, no. uh, so that okay. there are five feet puts you right in front of Vladna. Right in front of Vladna. Yeah. Can we uh, have a second Twitch stream that's just Travis shitting on the episodes? <laughs> looking at it, Travis commentary. commentary. Yeah. Uh, look at these. Look at these. Assholes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right in front of Vladna. Okay, you got it. That finishes your go. Or I'm your up. Image in your on deck. Okay. okay. Assume I'm affixed with the shield. Is that accurate? Uh, I will allow you a strength saving throw right now. Uh, nah. Let's say it's a fixed. I'm going to use a, uh, a superior superiority die to feint to the side and make it look like I'm running, but instead I'm going to grip the shield and swing around and try to stab, swing in an arc and try to stab into its mouth. So that's an advantage because it. it was a feint. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. So close. So two fives. I rolled two uh, fives. That's a. Uh, 
That's a uh, twelve. Well, that's not gonna hit. Twelve misses. Oh. You pull back in the shield and you go to swing towards the mouth, and as you do, it closes. The blade hits with the teeth, come down, and it actually catches the blade halfway through. The momentum stops. And you try and pull away, and your blade's now affixed to it. You have your shield okay. stuck, and your blade stuck. For fuck's right. sake. And my feet are pressed on it, and they feel stuck. I'm going to die? I'm going to die. Uh, yeah, I'm going to die. I've been accidentally doing my math wrong, and I should have four extra damage at this point against this thing, because I forgot my plus two to rage, rage damage. You got it. Oof. I believe I've hit it twice. Yeah. So that's so be four fucking seven points. points last round. Good call. Remember, learning, learning. Yes, there you go. All right. That finishes your go, Orm. I'm like a fly on wall. Five yeah, pick. you are. Four more. Points. Imogen, you're up. Fern, you're on deck. This Come on, is help, my girl. Never gonna work, but it's getting closer to me, so I'm gonna try to use my bonus action and shove it back telepathically while I burst some more lightning flare into it. Does it affect large creatures? It's all all creatures. Okay, and it's a strength saving. One save, creature I see within 30 feet of me, strength saving. 21. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, oh, wait, wait. Wait, Wait, because Wait. Hex. Does affect affects ability of checks, Has not saving throws. Che- Never mind. <laughs> good, good looking out, good looking out. But it's Gosh. strength, it's going to be strength. Okay, guys, so strength ability checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, means yeah, any yeah, sort yeah. of contested rolls to try and break free from the adhering oh, is now a disadvantage great. on its end, so it still helps. Just right. not in this instance, but it still helps. <laughs> I'm here. Good looking out. Is is it within 15 <laughs> feet of me? Does it seem within. Uh, he is within 10 feet of you, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's the, the tendrils, you're within the reach of his tendrils. You're like, it's coming towards you. Uh, <laughs> mm, mm. Mm, I, I'm gonna burst bur, bur, bur some lightning into it. Okay, it just bur, hits automatically. Bur, 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 so go ahead and roll a d12. I won d12. Just one. It only does the, it only does the level two at the initial impact, oh, and then it's just a d12 that so every many turn. Times That's and all I, good. Uh, Orm just turns. Wait, what? <laughs> Why couldn't I have used one of those rolls from before? But I rolled Sorry. again, and it was a one. A so. one it takes one point of damage. I'm scared right now, y'all. You are. You are. I am so terrified. <laughs> and this so is going so poorly. It's real Real's close. Out. And I feel like being closer to the the mouth is scarier than not. So even though it could hit me, I'm going to try to back up as much as I possibly you could can. Run okay, to so the outside. You try to move back. It's going to go ahead and. I'm just going to try to stay within 30 feet of it, but right, you know, right. so I don't break the. Have 30. That would okay. be it. But it's going to go ahead and try, try and yeah. use this reaction to the pod. That is going to be a 16 to hit. It hits. All right. Mm. <laughs> you take. Okay, 14 points of bludgeoning damage, and you do not get that far, because as soon as you try and move beyond it, the tendril hits you and you are grappled. Get over it. No! Oh! Oh! Why is this Why? Why? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this I can only take, like, yeah. All right, that finishes your turn. Yeah. Burn, you're up. With Dorian on deck. If you got big <gasps> shit, use it now. Use all Jeez. the shit you have. Hey, I'm fine, but I okay. keep failing. Hey, burn. Okay. I'm a oh, healer. Okie dokie. <laughs> what we're gonna do here? Well, we're gonna need. A, I'm in we're gonna need a lot. <laughs> Every time somebody comes, goes unconscious, you're gonna need to pick them back up. Yeah. What I'm we're gonna do here that, is clearly they're much. gonna get their. They have a flame monkey. Fire oh, back. That's great. What'd this is an idea, like and I idea. just need to, did you to tell me yay or nay. Of course, yeah, yeah, what you got? So, with the wildfire spirit, mm-hmm. um, I can sometimes do fiery teleportation mm-hmm. um, and uh, uh, move, teleport in 15 feet to an unoccupied space with my boy, Mister. Mm-hmm. And any creature within five feet of it, which can include Orm, Which would include Dorian know. and or if you want to take damage. Okay, let's scratch that. I have another idea of that. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't want anybody else to take damage here. Is there a way I can sort of get to the 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 left of Orum? Your right. Right here, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you can move over in there. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to clap my hands together. Mm-hmm. Yes. And cast Thunder Wave. Yeah. Ooh. Try to do it like, oh you know, that way so it Thunder wave, tries not uh, yeah. to hit Orm. No, actually, there's just enough space here to not hit Orm Ashton. or Ashton. Okay, there's a 15 foot cube Amazing. right there. Okay, that was that was the plan. Okay, great. So. Ooh. Constitution saving throw on its point, right? I recall. Let's mm-hmm. see, I don't know if I feel. Sounds right. Uh, 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 yes, Constitution saving throw. There's a 13. 
What's your spell DC? Come on, come on, come My on. My spell DC is 15. Oh, 15, okay, yeah. So it fails. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So go ahead and roll damage on that one. Okay, okay, okay. You're casting okay, okay. level one, okay. level two. Right, right, right. 15. Okay, okay. Yeah, what level were you casting it at? It's dodge two. All right, go for it. Go ahead and roll damage for second level. Three D eight damage. Okay, uh, that would be fifteen points of damage. Fifteen points of damage, nice. And then, now, my, now, and Mister it gets to. Back. And it moves him back ten feet. It moves it back ten feet. Yeah. Does it pull that... our friends with it? I mean, I'm on it. Uh, Orem does get pulled with it. And what about me and the? Uh, am I grappled too? Yep. Oof. Uh, and so it, it, it drags them back, but then pulls them with it. Cool. Okay, now uh, Mister gets a turn, he and he's gonna shit in his hand again. And throw that flame and see. Go ahead and roll an attack. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Twelve. Oh. Twelve is not it. Oh my it's god. I knew I shouldn't have used this one. Yeah. It's a lot of rough rolls this battle, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, it is. Uh, Man. As it throws another one, this one actually goes wide and splatters on the wall behind, and it's just this flaming turd that's like on the actual wall. Oh, it's just like. Gonna... <laughs> All right. Um, um. Let's go down together. No. Is that your turn, friend? I mean, oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. What is that? Finishing ferns go. Dorian, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna like uh, use my movement to break backward all the way up against that back wall, sort of like right down the middle of the alley, as far away as I can go. Yeah. And then uh, I am going to straight. Your friends being dragged back by the wall, which is now doubling its force to push back against the the nature fury that is fern. <sighs> Uh, straight down the chute, I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast chromatic orb. Ooh, okay. Oh, <clears throat> that's right. Yeah, that's you took that feed. I took that oh. feed. Go ahead, roll it up. Mm, please. Let's go. Natural twenty. Yes! Yes! All right. Plus, plus five, twenty-five. Let's go. Oh, praise the rollies, guys. All right. So, it, so you roll first to see what the what damage type it is. Uh, do I roll or do I pick? You choose it. I think I oh, choose, you choose it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose lightning. All right. Uh, all right. All the, Bro, that's all right. Oh, yes. Uh, Sixteen. Got a sad one there, but it was. It was, it was and uh, I think I, I the way I cast is um, I, I have to have a diamond. So mm-hmm. if you were to look closely at my chest plate, right in the center, you'd notice a little princess cut diamond. And I sort of Classy. flick it into my hand and catch it, Timeless. and it turns into this orb of electric energy. And I just give it the old Ooh. MLB throw as hard as I can, straight down the center. Fantastic! You yes. rolled, rolled yes. 3d8, right? What? You rolled 3d8. I did, and it gave me a, a seven, a sixteen. So six, sixteen. That's with the double. Uh, what would you say? You rolled double eight. No, no, I, I got seven, seven, one, eight. So sixteen. But you can then double it because you rolled a. You rolled a natural twenty. You double so it's your double dice. The dice. <laughs> oh, so so six, so thirty-two. Oh, oh. How do you want to? Oh. Do? Oh. 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 Its turn was next. I'm so pissed. <laughs> well, just like I said, except ten times cooler. Yeah. So as you flick up the diamond and grab it and then release the orb, cool. what happens? Ooh, uh, it like, uh, as I throw it, it just goes from this tiny little thing, gets a little bigger until it looks like just a tiny little orb, and as it shoots forward, it just gets faster and faster until it's almost like a, like a fucking bullet, and it just goes dunk, right in between, right in the fucking iris of its eyes, <laughs> and sort of buries its way into its eyes slowly. Okay. Okay. As the as the, the wall is standing <laughs> there, all the friends being dragged in, its mouth open. You can see it's in the process of getting ready to stuff Orem into its giant toothy maw. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a, a, as everyone has this look of despair and fear on their face, you watch as it just spins and crashes right into its eye. And as it impacts, the wall seems to lock and freeze. And you watch what seems like time everywhere else slows down, except for the one slight spin of this arcane bolt 
that begins to just corkscrew in and burrow into the eye. And as it does, it tries to close the lid, and as it as the lid closes, the, the lid closes, you can see the blue glow behind the flesh of the light that's getting brighter and brighter. At which point, arcs of energy begin to shock through it as blue lightning begins to just tear open gashes and sores across his body. The bits of wall-like texture and brick you see begins to just turn into this odd, gray, sundered flesh, and the wall begins to just And you see as it begins to just vomit kind of a dark, bloody acre out of its mouth. Other mouths begin to appear in the spaces and then go slack and vanish. The eye itself closes, tries to open elsewhere, but the pupil itself is disintegrated. As it begins to take a step forward and then another step forward, your friends begin to push away. You manage to free yourself from the wall, and as you all step back to join Dorian at the end of the alleyway against the wall, you watch as it <laughs> and collapses into the ground. I don't. Don't you put for that fucking wall? Flat wall <laughs> no, don't make it sound don't sweet. I hope we're the wailing wall. It was a brief moment. You all just kind of catching your breath in the silence of the night. You just hear all of your friends around you breathing hard. And Dorian, you stand there clutching the diamond in your hand. Holy shit. Fuck, I hate acid. Scary wall. Nice. Wow. Nice renovation. Yeah. Thank you. Is everyone all right? No. no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. We all took some damage. I think I'm gonna sit down. How are you, fresh cut grass? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm dandy. Oh, good. Boys. Um, who would like a little bit of healing? Anyone? You're the the. Mm. I don't got much. I'll, I'll join. I'll join you. Yeah. Um, I'll go over to just, Ashton. I'm, sit here I'm for. Good. A, I'm good. A minute or let's sixty. Just, let's just sit. sit I'll go sit. over to Imogen. How far down does this, does this alley go? Oh yeah, did that leave a hole? You go and look, and there's about ten more feet of alley behind it before it comes to the actual end of the alley. Is it filthy? Uh, no, it isn't. It is entirely clean like the rest, except for what looks like remnants of dissolved bone. Oh, oh we hate these oh, folks. Oh, ten points of heat. Can I Thank look around so the, the bone fragments to see if there's any sort of identifiable jewelry or? Sure, make an investigation Wait. check. No, well, I Look. just want to identify the bodies for their families. Show us anything that identifies anything. Uh, what am I doing? Investigation. Oh, it's terrible. It's five. Five. <sighs> it takes you a long time. You manage to find some coin. Uh, you find some like bracelets and what looks to be mostly kind of like uh, metallic-based accessories that survived whatever process this creature. Oh, do you need help? Probably, I, I'm just gonna gather whatever I can find as yeah, some sort of identifying. Um, sift all the bones into my hands. Oh, okay. There you go, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. You gonna be okay? Yeah, that was fuck. Uh, <laughs> we tease. What about you? That was fun. I feel better yeah. after Fern, thank you Fern. You're welcome. We should do that more often. Okay. Oh. That thing was terrifying. <sighs> what the? It's okay. And what was that? Inanimate objects. It's a conspiracy of what inanimate objects. We have a second box. inanimate objects. We've got tables. tables. We've got chairs. And walls and walls. God, God, this place is are you weird. Right? Yeah, Fern. Gotten weird. Fern, help me out so much. <laughs> I got, I ha- every once in a while, how are you? I can. How are you? You were right up there on it. Okay, I, 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 that hurt. I thought that I would really die. Hurt. But I, 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 I thought we were dead. Helped me. I thought I might die. Again. You look over and oh, Mr. Oh, has climbed up onto the body and just kind of looks back at you and goes, yeah. and then just Have takes it. a flaming poop on him directly. Nice. <laughs> nice. Where was that you finally <laughs> hit it. Yeah, good boy. You can eat it too. Comes up, like climbs back up onto you as the flames disappear oh. and you see the fuzzy Mr. behind kind of clutching onto the side of her hair. I give his little rolly st- tummy <laughs> some scratch. I'm just gonna scratch it from the kneeling position I have on the ground, like reaching mm-hmm. up. You should Scratching not be first feet. anywhere. No, no. And this keeps happening. Yeah. I've noticed. I'm really good at a distance and not 
Ocampo been relevant. Rushes around the corner, right, and looks to you, oh. Dory, and goes like, "What was? What is all the noise? <laughs> Wait, who is this? Who? Okay, oh. stage man. Oh, oh. oh. oh uh, I think we might have found your patron gobbler thing. It's uh, it was a." Uh, Hard to explain. Uh, a wall. Oh, that okay, not not so hard to explain. It was a wall. It was a scary wall. Looks over, and it's still there. Like it, it, it still has its wall, like <laughs> form in places. It's just dead. We we Let broke out. the fourth wall. <laughs> 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 Dare you? It all led to this. Yeah. Oh. It all led to this. Yay, <laughs> oh man! Very wow! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Campo looks at you and just goes, "Fuck you." <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it in auditions. What the fuck is that? I don't I need know. To, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get Stuvar. Uh, Everyone okay? You okay? Uh, no. Like the the refreshments. Um. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll ask. Beer, wine, medical Sweet attention, first anything first. that happens. Orm is full on planking face down on the cobblestone. <laughs> I just need an hour. Hey, what's going on down there? Oh no, who's this oh, now? God. You look over on the down the other side of the alleyway that leads to the road, you see two armored figures walking up wearing <laughs> the familiar colors and garb of the Wardens of the Wild. Oh, ah. great timing. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, what's that supposed to mean? We it were means attacked. Sorry. No, it's true. My God, what the hell? It was uh, the wall. Bricks. Bricks in the wall. <laughs> Should poke it. I, we're pretty sure it's dead, but there's only one way to tell. They both Another pull their weapons the out. One of them has like oh, you know, yeah. this nice curved saber. The other one has a, a rather like spiked mace. In the other hand, they go up to it and start like poking it <laughs> and chipping back. <laughs> 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 Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Stop! Shoot! I know you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Go over and start kind of prodding it, at which point Stu Vaughn comes by and is like, ah, I'm sorry, I am being notified that you have apparently, oh my goodness. Is it. Looks over to the to the to the, the wardens. Is it They're like? Yeah, it's dead. Mm-hmm. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, so this is what. Well, we suspect. Uh, I'll hand over the personal effects that I found. There's, there's Did a, you recognize any of these from maybe uh, uh, Lindy or 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 your your janitor Usha? You can see like. Uh, the male halfling ticket taker emerges, Siran emerges, all the different employees that are still there that were in the process of prepping for the next show all begin to slowly emerge and gather to go look at this spectacle just beyond the walls of their theater. The wardens begin to ask questions about, you know, about the disappearances that they've been looking into for a while. And Stuvan's all, of course, you've all been extremely helpful, but it looks like we had things taken care of here, have we not? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So this is it. All right. I mean, we think so. It you know. is, but how does a thing like this? Yeah. Who is some someone or or something may have enchanted it to do this? Yeah. How do you know that? I well, don't. I don't. I mean, a creature like well, this well, can't well, just well. wander through the streets. Um, that is true. Do you have any like rogue set pieces? Any? Flats Ooh. that have just gotten really. Have you scorned any flats? The ones that would be worth feeling scorned by were because they were destroyed. Uh, so I don't think that's quite it. Uh, uh, Is there a direction. former set builder or something that was disgruntled? Mm. I feel Not like this would have been a stonemason, but you know. yeah. Or just someone who was trying to sow chaos around these parts. Uh, the male halfling, who's the ticket taker, kind of steps forward a bit and goes, well, the, uh, you know, it was a few weeks back that general street repair that was being done here in the alley. Oh. And you Bye. look around and you can see like the leftover bricks and bits of construction equipment that's just kind of been left in sections around the alley. This could be evil bricks. Who was that? Yeah, who, who, who that? was doing it? I don't know. Looks over to Stavon's like, 
Wardens, do you know who was responsible for doing any sort of construction work in the uh, the neighborhood as of late? You can look at. Well, no. Um, I mean, most of the uh, any sort of official construction done in this part of the spire is overseen by the Treshy House Masons Guild. Treshy House. Treshy House Masons Guild. Treshy. I don't have it's an influencer house. <laughs> it's the worst. But like, share, subscribe. There we are. Uh, do these renovations occur on the same time as your first missing person? See, Stuban looks over at the Tekken Tekkenist. Evan, is this true? Well, I guess so, yeah, but I didn't. I didn't. And Stuban goes, it's fine. <sighs> no. Regardless, appreciate your time in helping us figure out where these missing individuals may have gone. Uh, wardens, I think we have this handled. If you wouldn't mind just writing up a report or do whatever it is you do when you take other people's credit and let your masters know that uh, things are taken care of and to stop peering into my personal effects, I am not responsible for this. They go, just to say you didn't put this here. Stephon's like, are you? Bring them by, do your investigation. I have nothing to hide. In the interim, Let's have a conversation in my office. As you all kind of exit, the employees begin to scatter and head back into the building to prepare for the next performance. Wait, I gotta get up? I'm gonna pick you up. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. No, it's gonna <laughs> hurt. Why should ride on my back? How does that work? Just get on, I'll, I'll wheel you over. Oh my god. I step up from behind and I mm -hmm. like riding a sort of put my feet, it's a segue. Huh? Feet <laughs> on the side of the the spokes of his wheel, Eggs. and I hold on to his there shoulder. You there you go. Okay, All go right. slow. I'm really I'm ginger. Go. <laughs> 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 you all, now even more of you are here cramming into Stuvan's office. Like a couple of you have to kind of wait out in the hallway. You can't quite all fit in there in that space, but Stuvan turns around in his desk. Well, this has been a strangely eventful night, hasn't it been? Um, well, for one, I guess, thank you for your curious minds and for being forthright in your intent. A rarity, it seems, in some spaces these days. Uh, I would hope that you are willing to speak on what transpired and defend the honor of the Dreamscape Theater for our lack of involvement directly with the deaths of these individuals. Sure. What are you going to give us in return? We don't need anything, really. We're fine. Reaches behind and pulls a, uh, a small case that is currently closed and kind of sets it on the desk and scoots it across. I open it. It is filled with a smattering of golden platinum. Mm -hmm. says, Consider this appreciation for your hard work and uh, an offering of friendship in, once again, ensuring that those responsible for this are taken care of by the authorities and not my humble business. I don't think we can accept this at all, can we? Yes, we can. Okay. Wait, but I, I thought, uh, I thought uh, we would also maybe, uh, like Laudna said, get uh, free memberships as well for box seats anytime box we want to seats for come. the season. Like season tickets. Make season a, tickets. Both of you make persuasion checks. Come on. <laughs> come on first. Let's go. To the theater. Let's go to the theater. Twenty total. Ooh. Fifteen. Yes. Done. <gasps> I'll have Tefta drop a membership contract for you over the next week or so. Just come by in that time to fill the paperwork. We just need to ensure that each one of you signs appropriately because we need your information to ensure memberships are uh, maintained. Individually. Privately with Tefta, each one of us. <laughs> oh boy. I hope so. <laughs> Regardless. Um, can't be worse than getting burned with acid. We can make it. Yet. <laughs> Not yet. yet. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
Also, would you please not let any of the patrons coming in for our next showing tonight aware of this? I consider that part of this reward exchange. Of course, <laughs> go it's out. over. We'll go out the back. What's done is done. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, have a good night, and um, get out. Whew. <laughs> 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 that was exciting. That was fun. Yeah, and, and we didn't yeah, die. I really thought we were going to die. Oh, yeah. Mm, I, I love the arts. <laughs> I love what you do. Mm-hmm. Maybe the theater is not for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know, weren't in the theater. show really yeah. is not enough to, to make a judgment by. For show jitters, mm-hmm. that's all. Matinees. <laughs> matinees. <laughs> matinees. No more matinees. Let's just there. agree, no, no more, more matinees. matinees. Are you guys exiting through the back alley? Yeah. Right sure. Okay. Right. Another wall approaches. Sorry. Are you passing by the, <laughs> the fight you just had on the way out? Yeah. Okay. So you all kind of carefully exit the back. You can see there's now four wardens, or wilders, that are in the process of inspecting it, like holding up parts of its weird uh, skin flaps to see like the stonework texture and like the weird combination of masonry and creature that this is. Uh, one of them kind of looks over and just notices you pass by and just gives a nod, recognizes one of the ones that approached him. <laughs> Continue. Oh so I'm sorry. Uh, that's mine. And I pull a dagger out of a seeping wound. <sighs> Did you get your your? Oh my gosh! And all Fair the ki- yes. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. And I'll I'll go right behind Orm and retrieve my hand axe. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna go pull out a tooth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I meant to. Do in a this. in a really odd display, you expect resistance, but it just kind of slides out. Yeah. Of it. Oh. Oh. I what? take all the tea. I take, well, I mean, can I take more? Otherwise, they just pop. <laughs> if you want to. I'm going to try to take as many as I can. <laughs> Roll a hand check. Roll slide a hand check. Because there are four, four wilders that are currently kind of in the process of inspecting it. <laughs> Bringing it back to the spot. 18. <laughs> I'd say you get. You get seven teeth Woo! before one of the wilders goes, hey, 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 hey! This is a crime scene! Yes, a crime scene that I made. <laughs> right, but we, we need to make sure that all evidence is returned to our superiors. You don't need the teeth. You don't need to identify it. You already know what it is. That's not entirely true. We have no idea what the fuck this is. There's I'm plenty leaving. Of teeth left. <laughs> <laughs> you are magic. <laughs> so, as you guys begin to exit the alley towards the. Yes. There were repairs that happened. Things uh, were replaced. Can I see, like, if there were new bricks, old bricks? What? Yeah. The fuck? Make a perception or investigation oh, check. What the fuck is up with that? What the fuck is up with that? And I just want to know, like, how much of the creature could we tell when we were fighting it? Was it actually, like, flesh disguised as stone, and was any of it actually stone masonry? Uh, if you want to inspect it, you can go ahead and make an investigation check on the creature. 15 total. 15 total. Uh, looking around the interior here, there is no fresh masonry. <laughs> no, no fresh masonry. There is no fresh masonry. Oh. All the materials that are around are there, but there's nothing new within this alleyway. Oh no, they died. Who died? Or didn't. Uh, contractors. Or, or they just didn't do the work. Or they didn't do any work, they just put the, they thing, just put here. the thing here. What'd you want? Um, uh, 11. 11? Contractors. The best thing you can figure out while you're looking it over or they could have just been is that I mean, just to reiterate, you've never seen a creature like this in an urban environment. Up. Yeah. No, you no, do no. see. <laughs> sorry. Shh, sorry. <laughs> trying to keep the cross talk to him, and um, you do see affixed to two sides of the creature small devices oh. that are almost like attached. Here we go. What do they look like? They look almost like like half orbs that are just kind of pressed with little like parts that dig into the stone-like flesh of the creature. Huh? Have the guards are the have the guards noticed it? Uh, You're uncertain. Can I try to take one? Make a side of hand check. Come on, blanket. <laughs> Come on, blanket. Eleven. You rolled a three. Oh, whoa! The Wilders are still kind of pouring over this and keeping an eye on most of the crew, and you manage to just find the right moment. Maybe it's a, a hint of 
your the extension of your consciousness that kind of just blurs, puts the blinders briefly on before you just grab it and pull. And once again, it looks like it was meant to heavily dig in and hold in place, but it gives no resistance as you pull it away. It's rather disturbing in the moment you pocket it. Comes away with a shiver and queef. <laughs> I'll never live that down, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Keep telling the DM, man. <laughs> a lot more things can spit acid. It gets worse than that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you do find that. I'll just pocket it and walk away. Okay. I'm gonna walk it up. You'll walk, walk down the rest of the alleyway. Um, the streets, this part, are starting to get a little busy. People you can see crossing the path. Uh, there's a shadow oh. at the edge of the end of the alleyway. Oh. Like, a, a figure kind of leaning against the wall. Same figure as does, before. It, does it look familiar to Aurum and I? Make a perception check, both of you guys. Yeah, 25. 17. 17. You both glance past, and though it is mostly uh, in shadow, with just a little bit of rim lighting from the moon that is coming through from the main street, uh, no, this is not the figure you saw. This is a humanoid figure, but much smaller. Maybe about Aurum size, even shorter. You see a faint hunch to it as it just kind of sits there, arms crossed, waiting. I don't trust it. Can I send out a, a message to it? Ooh, is if that stupid? If you'd like to. You can see it. Do you need something? Travis, you want to come to the table? Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah! 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 What's happening? He just died! <laughs> and he was trolling us on text all night! Thank God, he finally stopped texting us. <laughs> Where'd he go? No more screen grabs. Would you like to ask the question once more to the target of your message? I don't even remember what I said. Do you want Do you something? Want something? Need something, want something? You, need you want something? Ooh. Who is that? Oh no. Uh, oh, speaking, please. It's, oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> and I just wave over here. How are you doing that? <laughs> the same way you're doing it to me. Mind powers. That's nifty. No, but do you, are you gonna? Uh, I just walk over to him. Uh, Imogen. I jog along. Who's that? Do you know um, that? Behind the guy. Uh, I I like uh, power walk next to Imogen. If you, if you would like to describe yourself, transfer <laughs> size. Uh, yeah, you see, post up against the wall, uh, cloak and hood pulled over uh, his head. You see <laughs> tufts of silvery gray hair shooting out over his ears. Some silvery gray hair shooting out of his ears. <laughs> and a nice little knit beanie cap pulled tight with little ear straps. Uh, he's got a leather chest harness and uh, some pretty muscly sinewed arms along with some, looks to be woodworking tools <laughs> from his hips and waist. Uh, and, and some nicely uh, pointy-toed boots. <laughs> What's uh, what's his lineage? Uh, he's a he's a gnome. Roughly, he's a gnome. Roughly what age? Is he? From a visual perspective. Oh, probably somewhere around 100, 120, 100 and something years old. <laughs> what kind of height are we talking about? I'm short, motherfucker. Shorter than me. <laughs> I'm three three. Where you at? I think I got you by an inch or so. Oh. I'm looking down. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh you're taller. Oh. Taller? Than him. I oh. think so. I can't, I'm not sure. Okay. You're not sure? I might be on my tippy toes. <laughs> 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 Gotta put out a different vibe for these strangers. That's where it lifts. <laughs> like just shoes with, with like a quarter up against the wall, so the heels, really I just lift claws. them up and then rest them against the back. <laughs> so my calves don't cramp. What, who are you? Who are you? Are you one uh, of the contractors? I see you have woodworking tools. No, I, I am. I, I like working with wood very much. No, I am. Um, I saw around the corner all of you handle whatever that was. 
You decided to just stand there and not come help? Well, fuck yes! That thing had tendrils and all of a sudden you were there and you whack, got pulled in and you got spit back out and then he's fucking face down in the middle of the street? Fair. Fair. <clears throat> um, do you do this regularly? Are you looking for work? No, I'm just kidding. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> do you, have, you know a patron? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I could use some help. Um, oh, you need something. Well, yes. Um, I need help finding someone. What's your name, friend? Yeah, my name is Chetney. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. It sounded like you said ch Chet. Chetney. Chetney. Pockapy is my name. Pockapy. Pockapy. Chetney. Chetney. Well, great name. Thank you. You're so unusual. Who are you looking for? A friend. I'm sort of new to Marquette, but. I'm sort of all on my own now. It would be very, very helpful if you could help me locate him. You hear in the back part of the alley, one of the creature's larger portions of his body just kind of sloths forward onto the ground with a heavy impact, and the guards kind of rush back. Get food and, and a nap <laughs> yeah, first. You. Why do I already run a roll an inside check? Because I don't. <laughs> Well, you're in my head. Shit, I should roll an inside check on you. Inside check! <laughs> yeah. Mm. Take a peek, see what you like. <laughs> well, clearly, we're, we're upsetting you, old timer. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. You're, you're very kind. What's your name? Fresh Cut Grass. Pleased to meet you. The whole thing's your name? Oh, no, just the fresh cut grass part. Oh, that's fantastic. What a fucking name. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would actually love to come with you. That, that's all right. You all seem to be fairly... Uh, are they okay? Uh, they're injured. We're not okay, but we will... Oh, yeah, that, that's fine. That's a whole... That's a, that's a story that requires drink. Oh. And games and sleep, and we have to sleep because I'm gonna fucking die. Fire by spire, fire by spire, spire by spire, fire by spire, fire, by fire. fire. fire, fire spire, fire, spire, fire. <laughs> come, want, come to the. Yeah, you want to get a drink with us? We can, you know, be most see kind. what you're about. That would be very, very kind of you. Yes. All right. Whatever gets us there faster. Let's just go. <laughs> Here, you, you walk first. I, I don't want to trip on your booties. And you see me just <laughs> as the the older gnomish odd companion begins to dart out into the night before you, as your tired, wounded, bruised selves follow suit to make your way towards the spire by fire. We're gonna finish tonight's game there. We'll pick up there next week. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't match with the group. We have to find out. Yeah. Yeah. He can also die in three episodes. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know the plans. Anything goes in campaign three. All oh, oh, right. All righty. Well, Travis is like a drummer for Spinal yeah. Tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Such range. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, Chet me with an N. Excited to have you back, Travis. Oh, I pleasure to fucking yes. be here. <laughs> You're gonna be Chet in about a week. Yep. Wow. All right. Love it. Well, thank well, you all so much for it. joining us. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Yet? No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.